Let's see. Can everybody hear me? All right, great. I literally had mic problems 30 seconds before the stream started. I'm happy to see you all. Today we're gonna be playing some more 2099. By the way, it's uh, Friday, April 5th, so that's exciting. Um, I'm going to play the second mastermind, or group of masterminds, kind of, in the game I didn't play yesterday. If you would like to see my complete overview of this set, plus my first playthrough, um, if you are a Bagel Top member at this link right here, it will go up either tonight or tomorrow morning. For everybody else, it should go up early next week, as well as the replay of this game. So look forward to that. Um, thank you so much, Drufus, for the Tier 1 sub. Excited to see some 2099 gameplay. How have you enjoyed the set so far? Um, I loved it. Uh, yesterday's game was a long game. It was a very technical game. Uh, I saw your comment off the cuff. I hope I hope things dry out pretty well over there. Um, it was a very technical game. Um, got to experience a ton of a uh, ton of the cyber upgrades, which was pretty pretty cool. And a lot of undercover, a lot of managing of the victory piles and, and classes that were in there. It almost felt like a different game. It felt like more of a resource management game than this usually is. Um, I I couldn't wait, Jay Parnell. I'm sorry. And uh, 37 months of uh, subscribing for Drufus. Thank you very much and for your help with. Uh, Updating all the, uh, getting all the cards ready when uh, Marcus uh, gave us those images. Uh, so now we're going to play with some more. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go over our setup today. Um, we might play a second game. We'll see how this first one goes, how long it goes, and then maybe we can tackle one of the uh, other schemes. So here we are. We're over on Legendary Leagues with this setup. If you want to see this at any time, just put an exclamation setup, and you can see it. Um, our setup is right here. It is... Sinister 6, 2099 as the mastermind. The scheme has become president of the United States. I love that that's the scheme here. The villain groups are Alchemax and Forces and False Acer of Alchemax. So both villain groups from this set. The heroes are all the heroes from this set as well. We're going to be using the Mandroid from Civil War as the henchman here representing uh, cyborgs. And uh, then everything else in the villain deck as you see here. Hey, Bagel, now that you have played some of this set, how does this compare... <laughs> yeah, basically, how does it compare to the other newer sets that don't have any sets after Realm of Kings? Some, and people in chat will agree with me, uh, from Annihilation and on, I don't think there's a bad set in the bunch. Um, and some of them are exceptionally good. There have been some bangers coming out uh, since 2021. So you are missing out if you haven't picked up a lot of these, including the MCU sets. Make a prediction on what hero will be MVP. Well, I, I had a, some success with Ravage last time. Uh, but um, I'm gonna say I, I want to use more Spider-Man and Doom in this game than I did in the last one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say either one of them because I'm gonna try to make that happen. All right, uh, let's go over the Mastermind and Scheme, then I'll put up a prediction for you. Actually, I'll put up a prediction right now so that we have some time to to go over that. So how will this game go? You have five minutes, so wait until you see more info on what the setup is gonna be if you would like. There we go. Let's go over our Mastermind Scheme. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, if you can get your deck thin enough. And I had the, the Ravage combo where he had the card that draws from the bottom of the deck and his four attack fade of future. It can be. It was very, very good. I got lucky with those cards showing up. So our Mastermind is Electro 2099 is the first card here. It is uh, the Sinister 6 2099. Pressing this button so you can see the thing is harder than it looks. There it is. All right, so this is an adapting mastermind. So there are six tactics. It's a really, really good keyword. Uh, uh, smartly, it's used sparingly, but when it does work, it's amazing. So there are six tactics here. Each one of these is a different tactic for the same mastermind. This is the first one. It's not the one we're gonna start with um, once we adapt. So always leads any Alchemax or Sinister Six villain or Sinister Villain group, nine attack and a VP value of six. Set up adapt, which means you shuffle all these and you put a new one on top. This one has a master strike of each player discards three cards, then draws a card, um, and then adapts. So that's, you know what that does. And then uh, they have unique fight effects as well. Fight, you may discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards, adapt. We're going to be going over what all these master strike and fight effects are when they come up. So for now, we're going to put him here and we'll adapt in just a moment. Let's go over the scheme here, which is a very fun, <laughs> a very fun name scheme. Um, become president of the United States, set up 11 twists, special rules, once per turn you may stack one of your non-gray heroes next to this scheme to earn 10 million votes for that hero name. If you do, you may also send one of your gray heroes undercover 
as Secret Service. Twist, if there's a villain in the bank or streets, the mastermind vows to crush crime, and you stack this twist next to the mastermind as 10 million votes. Otherwise, you may discard two cards to counter negative advertising, shuffle this twist back into the villain deck, and play another card from that deck. If you don't discard, stack this twist next to the mastermind as 10 million votes. Evil wins when the mastermind is elected president by having 40 million more votes than the highest voted hero name, so keep track of those. Once the bottom one is 4 million more than the top, or the top one, I'm out. So hopefully I can become elected, or whoever the mastermind is, uh, the, over the uh, electee is going to be. The elect is going to be, I suppose. It's going to be one of these heroes, hopefully. What set would you recommend I prioritize getting? Um, you don't have anything since after Realm of Kings? Um, <clears throat> probably Messiah Complex, because it comes with more support cards, uh, special sidekicks, plus it is a medium box with a whole bunch of, uh, of things. <laughs> There's a lot of cool mechanics in there. It's very complex, as the name references so i would pick that one up first and then just and whatever else you like they're all gonna well they're gonna they claim they're gonna share the presidency but i don't know if that's actually gonna how it's gonna happen in real life so that's the mastermind and scheme let's see who's starting in our hq actually i'll wait for that to run out and i'll give everything a courtesy shuffle and then once the predictions are done i will fill up the hq as is tradition jay Purnell says i think annihilation messiah complex and midnight suns are the best of the bunch since realm of kings and then uh by the way if you want to see the overview again i'm going to post it later and thank you by the way to upper deck for sending me this set it showed up the day after release day it was very kind of them to send me this and continue to send me sets and i do appreciate it. they don't have to do that but they do so thank you so much everybody over there i'll throw the box art up here in case you want to see it oh, the art is so cool the art is from a unique artist this set has some of the best art in all of legendary i don't think i will find anybody who disagrees with that it's very unique but very cool some folks didn't like the unique styled art in Black Panther. I liked it a lot. This also has a unique style, but people seem to like this one. It's a bit different. It meshes well with the theme. My favorite art is... I think it's Ghost Rider's Rare, but there's some contenders. No problem. Thanks for coming by. All right. Courtesy shuffles in. Let me get my starting decks ready. By the way, again, these tokens by uh, GW Gumby have been super useful here yeah but uh, I, I, that's uh, that's the common opinion i'm hearing is that uh, different tastes in those art they're this they're similar in that they're deviations from classic comic art but this one seems to mesh more with folks these are very helpful for cyber mods oh it looks even better in person red john but i respect that if you want to get your hands on those or get the uh get the file because those are 3d printed check out uh, go message gw gumby on discord Get my starting hands ready. I couldn't figure out what mat to use for this. I was going to use the uh, Spidey versus Sinister Six, but I feel like I'll keep the what if mat out, especially because it's future. Yeah, well, one thing I love about Legendary is that every game is a little mini art gallery. <laughs> that's, that's a blast. Which new keyword is cooler, more fun so far? Well, Faded Future is definitely more powerful. You see it less. Cyber Mod is really, really fun. It's a lot of little things you got to keep track of. And um, it does really do feel like you are upgrading yourself because you are getting rid of your card to do so. So it's a commitment, but it pays off. I like CyberMod quite a bit. Okay, so missions are closed. And it looks like seven of you say win, four of you say lose. And the majority of points, vast majority of points are towards a win. So let's see how this goes. Starting with our HQ, we've got... Okay, we got Venomous Fangs, Spidey. We've got Toxic Mutations, Ravage. We got another Venomous Fangs. We've got Hellride, Ghost Rider, and we've got Detect Vibrations, Ravage. So this was the MVP of my last game. Uh, it did really well for me. It's very, very good. All right. Uh, luckily, hopefully, then I'll do another game. So stick around for that. Let me hide the poll and get started. Oh yeah, I'll be uh, posting it for members tomorrow or late tonight or tomorrow sandals, and for everybody else uh, early next week. So, uh, but it's already uploaded and just getting the uh, thumbnail and timestamps together. But uh, oh, it's so much fun. And I'm sure today's going to be no exception. But uh, let's go. Let me get everything. Yep, I don't need to do anything else. I got everything to keep track of. We can just jump in right now. Here we go. Let's begin with turn number one. Okay, there are a five and one. Let's do it. 
do they go by Marvel Knights in the 2099 comics, or is that the closest? I I think it's just the closest equivalent to, like, street-level underdog heroes, you know? That uh, are a bit more gray area. So, that fits for me. First card from the villain deck is Venture. So, he ambushes here into the sewers from the Alchemax Enforcers. He ambushed with the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. Of course I didn't adapt, because I forgot to do that. Let me finish reading this, then I'll adapt. It's not going to affect it right now. Uh, ambush with the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. It's going to be... Um, oh, no! I lost my rare right away. Hey, it's not a rare KO, but instantly gone. <laughs> Ravages rare just goes straight to the escape pile. That's really sad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is going to go well, isn't it? Okay, Venture captures a bystander. Great start. So, he gets the Heartless Computer Scientist. That's what you guys come here for. <laughs> He's got Cyber Mod Range. Venture also captures a non-gray hero from your discard pile, which doesn't happen. Then fight either KO that captured hero or choose a player to gain it. You let me adapt the uh, Masterminds. They do have epic sides, so if you do sleeve them, it's quite useful to just turn it upside down. Uh, I'd be too tempted to look down if I didn't sleeve them and look at the epic side, so I know which ones they were. So, let's see who we're actually starting with. We are starting with... Ba -ba -da -ba. Goblin, 2099. Let's take a peek at him real quick. So he gets plus, minus one for each bystander in your victory pile. Minus one attack. He's at 11 base attack. Master Strike, each player puts a bystander from the victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. Adapt, fight each villain in the city, captures a bystander. Adapt. Hard to hit early. Uh, he's, he, I think he's the uh, strongest base attack villain in this uh, uh tactic in this mastermind group that is very hard to to say correctly let's go ahead and play this out i've got one two three four five recruit so who should i take yeah you could have as many like the rule sheet says to use uh only all epics or all non-epics but if you wanted to homebrew it you could do whatever you want but yeah up to you Whew. okay so let's look at our choices First, we got Venomous Fang Spidey. He's got two attacks. Cyber Mod, Covert, Covert, draw a card. This means I have to have two Covert heroes in my victory pile to activate this Cyber Mod. There's other cards. Uh, his other card will send itself undercover, which will help. So, yeah, speaking of adventure, there are paths coming in. So, thank you to those who have designed paths. I will work on that. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this weekend, but I'll get to it as fast as I can updating adventure for this set. We've got Toxic Mutations, Ravage, 2 plus attack, and then a Strength. You get plus 2 attack and Faded Future. Didn't get to use this one last time. By the way, um, I mentioned this in my overview. Every single hero in this game has at least one card that has a bit of a bio of the character in the flavor text. So Devin did everybody a courtesy, uh, aware that not everybody knows all these characters. You get a little bit of info if you just get the set. Um, this is good, uh, but I need some strength to trigger it. I've got Hellride here. Uh, to attack, you may send this and a card from the HQ undercover. If you do, you get plus two attack. And then Cyber Mod Triple Tech, you get plus two attack. And then Detect Vibrations I can't take yet. I'm going to get the most expensive card I can. Last game I went for a lot of recruit cards. Let's try to get this and go for some strength. Maybe I'll see Hulk uh, and I can uh, take his cards as well. But I'm going to capitalize on the five recruit I've got. Get some two attack to start hitting things in the city. And then another one shows up in its place. But I got to see who is going to become uh, president. I'm going to have to give those cards up to do so. Turn two is upon us. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, I'm playing two-handed solo here. Turn two is Cyber Nostra, who are going to ambush. They ramp up a little bit. Hey, Oliver, thank you so much for the tier one sub. That's 34 months of subs from you. I appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around for so long. So Cyber Nostra have an ambush effect, but the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. Who are we losing? Okay, good news is, kind of, it's another instinct card. It's another Ravage. There, are, it's not like it's not like a claw. There are some that care about how many of these you have. So his uh, Cyber Mod Tech, which means which cares about cards in the escape pile. Yeah, Cyber Nostra gets plus one attack for each Tech card in the escape pile. There are none right now. It's only a three. I should take it out early. And the fight effect is Cyber Mod Tech KO one of your heroes. So as far as heroes I've got to play, I got four recruit and two attack. Can't find anything there. So if the left side took Ravage. I want to lean into that with the strength, maybe with Hulk. So I'm going to go with probably one of these two Venomous Fangs. I could go with Hellride. 
it's the more uh, expensive choice. That would make a little more sense. But I played a lot of Ghost Rider last time, and I kind of want to play more Spidey, even though I can afford the four cost. Yeah, let me go ahead and go with um, a Venomous Fangs. I'll take the one from under the rooftops for no particular reason. See how fast I can get Cybermod Covert Covert with his other cards. Looking for some early attack here. If Heartless Computer Scientist escapes the adventure, does it count as a tech hero? It is a tech hero in the escape pile. It didn't become a hero. So, no. Um, it was never gained as a hero. It's still a bystander, so that would not count as far as I can tell. Um, if it got captured, then got carried off, then yes. But right now, it's just a bystander. Um, well, I can read the specific rules. I think it specifically said that Cybermod cares about heroes. Or if it says card, maybe. So, oh, actually, no, it does say card. So check it out. Let me adjust that. Cards are the listed hero classes. But you know what? Um, Heartless Computer Scientist never became a hero, so it doesn't have a hero class until it's gained, I think. So I think it still would not count. But uh, let me know if anybody disagrees with that. Anyway, I replaced it with Subvert this new future Doom that sends itself away. Nothing else to do this turn. Move it over to the left. Let me get my new hand ready, which is just more grays. That's a three and three from the villain deck. It is right there on the card, but on heroes gained as uh, villains gained as heroes, they also have a hero class, but they don't have that class until they're gained as heroes yet, right? That would be the same for them. Again, willing to debate, but first I gotta take care of this. <laughs> I mean, thematically, sure, it works great. Okay, if there's a villain in the banker streets, the mastermind vows to crush crime, and you stack this twist next to the mastermind as 10 million votes. So 10 million votes for the mastermind. Uh, the otherwise, that doesn't happen. You may discard two cards to counter negative advertising. Shuffle this twist back into the villain deck and play another card from that deck. If you don't discard, stack this twist as the mastermind has 10 million votes. Okay, so I've got to remember the special rules while I have this up. Once per turn, I can stack an on-gray hero next to the scheme as 10 million votes for that hero. So I should be recruiting a lot of the same hero to be able to do this. So we got uh, 10 million votes right now for the mastermind, which is not a great start. I need to do better in my polling. So I've got a 3 and 3. I can hit Cyber Noster before it gets buffed up. Which is good, so let's actually do that right now. Uh, no Cyber Mod tech, so no KO. I lose out in the KO power, but I'd still probably prefer to take it out early. And so we're gonna do so. Sidekicks are heroes, but it has to be the same hero name. So if it's uh, special sidekicks, that would be hard to do. Because I got all the special stuff in here. So they, yeah, that got defeated for three. No KO happens. And uh, as far as recruiting, this is the side I took uh, Ravage on, the five attack. So should I take Doom here? I'll send him undercover. I'll, I want to save Venomous Fangs for the other side. So yeah, I will uh, go ahead and pick up a uh, subvert for the subvert this new future. That'll send itself undercover. <laughs> yeah, Miss Lion can only be voted for twice. Can only get two million votes max until somebody realizes it's a pet. Um, you have to send one of your non-gray heroes. Uh, uh, you, get, you can only stack your non-gray heroes next to the scheme, so I can't use Mariel. I couldn't use standard sidekicks either, because they are gray. Okay, and uh, oh, we got the Hulk here, which is great. Uh, this is one of the best cards in the set, I think. I was able, well, I wouldn't want to spoil it, but I was able to use this to send some wounds undercover, which was very fun. But, uh, I might just use it for the strength trigger because I already have the strength ravage on the other side. So let's mix some stuff up. Get going. I'm going to be doing my typical uh, mastermind attack strategy by not usually uh, not putting attack on them with the die until I get close to their attack value. Because even if I get two bystanders, he'll be at nine. So until I get to like nine or eight, I won't be bothering to adjust that. Because they're going to adapt and shift up anyway. All right, my new hand for turn three, for turn five actually coming up, is a bunch of graves and doom, but it's a little bit of recruit, so that's nice. Turn four, 
is a 4 and 2. Giving us another twist. Back to back twists. More votes for the president. I could lose this very fast. So, um, President Goblin gets uh, 10 more votes. So, one of my, my head cannon for the Sinister Six is that Goblin is the one running, and the rest are his, uh, his cabinet, his future cabinet. One of them is VP. So, we'll see who that is. So, 10 million mo more votes for the Goblin. That is not great. Two mi yeah, 2 million. 1 million more votes. So, I'm at 2 million. Two more and I lose unless I start putting here some heroes there. I, exactly, Remington. I gotta pick a candidate. But the, the search is hard right now. Who's good? So with four recruit, this is the side I took Spidey on. Um, yeah, so... If there's a villain in the bank or the streets, it happens. So the bank and the streets have to be empty um, to uh, prove that there's not really a crime wave going on and counter the advertising. This means there's too much uh, crime going on in the city. There's nothing I can do about it to counter the propaganda. So, yeah. So, I got to clear the city, but I can't really do that yet either. The flavor on this scheme is perfect. Um, yeah, I could take Hulk here, but I'm going to take the other Venomous Fangs. Um, try to invest in this and get this going. Or just run Spidey for president. I might just do that. But I like to use him this game. I don't have it right now, so I have to wait, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, that screams a change that happened during testing. I may be wrong on that, but uh, it's a good little uh, detail to make sure it's not too easy. Okay. Who would you like to be president from the entire roster of heroes and legendary? Ant Army? The Vishanti? Heralds of Galactus? Turn 5. Oh no! This could be a very short game, folks. <laughs> President Coulson. I, I, would, I would vote for President Coulson. Alright, that is the uh, third million votes for the Mastermind. I think I have to run Doom. If I don't run Doom right now, I might lose in the next turn. So once again, Doom is forcing himself to being president by necessity. But the thing is, there's not a lot of Doom here. So... Yeah, Cat, Cat for president, Loki of course, Howard the Duck. I think I have to force a president Doom. So look at this. Um, I can give Doom 10 million votes, otherwise I risk losing on the next twist. There's 11 twists. I don't like my odds just leaving it there, so... I think we're gonna run President Doom right now. <laughs> if I play him, I can get 5 Recruit, which would be really nice to get Toxic Mutations. But I could lose on the next twist, so... I, I'm basically making a, a wager on what's the next top card of the uh, villain deck. If I can wait, I can run Spidey over here. Oh, man, what should I do? I gotta think about it for a sec. Uh, I feel I feel like taking the risk and not running Doom right now. And hoping that next card is not a, a scheme twist. But that could be foolish of me. I just started, so I could reshuffle and start this game over real quick if I fail. So I'm gonna, I'm taking the risk. I'm not gonna run Doom right now. I'm, I'm gonna run uh, Miguel, and let's just play this hand out because it'll be a better investment for the future of my game here. Sorry, Doom. I'm changing the future. So I can send this in a card from my hand or discard pile under cover. If you do, you get plus one recruit. Um, I want all five of my recruit. <laughs> That's true. So I'm going to send this and a shield trooper undercover without playing it. By the way, we've talked about changing this animation, which I will have to do. So what that has just done is giving me one extra recruit. I also have to uh, track my cyber mod capabilities. Now I have a range card in the uh, victory pile. So you're going right there. And I'm going to play the rest of my cards. Well, just the, just the agent. So i got five recruit now. Let's go ahead and pick up Toxic Mutations. Now that I have two, I can always fate, uh, fate in future one if I have the other one. Plus, I can take more Hulk later. I hope I shuffled okay. 
Because uh, otherwise this game is over. Before I take my next turn. Let's see what happens. Here it is. Is the game over? It's not. Because Loki's comes. Loki comes here to save the day. So Loki does have an ambush though. Luckily there's been no Master Strike. He's got two Uru Enchanted Weapons. Ambush. Shuffle a Master Strike from the KO Pal back into the Villain deck. There aren't any so that's great. Fight or fail if his Uru Enchanted Weapon revealed any Master Strikes. Play one of them. Escape, search the villain deck for a Master Strike, shuffle the villain deck, and play that Master Strike. I absolutely love the design on this. It's a nasty, nasty card that you only have to deal with if you try to fight it. But if you don't, Loki just sticks around smirking the whole time. <laughs> it's great. All right, I'm, I'm running Spidey for president. Uh, so officially announcing his candidacy, I'm going to go ahead and stack him next to the scheme. So there you go. I'm actually going to put him right here so you can see. Um, that is top heroes votes. That is going to be 1 million votes for... Spider-Man 2099. 2099, he'll lead you just fine, is the campaign slogan. Actually, if it's currently 2099, somebody do the math. What would be, what would it be? Would uh, 2100, would that be when the election would be for? Yeah, is it, have election years caught up? Is 2099 actually an election year? It shouldn't, it wouldn't be, because it's odd. I don't know, I'm not thinking about it right now. Does the fact that they're called Uru Enchanted Weapons cause any thematic disconnect with those head of Red 29? I, I can't answer that. Um, I didn't think they were literally Uru, but um, 2098. But no, this is we're, this is currently 2099. So if we're running for president, it's it's a few years away, <laughs> right? I don't know. Maybe they changed. Maybe they changed the whole thing. Maybe they changed the rules. Don't ask me for numbers. So we ran him. Oh, oh yeah, I was checking this game just to make sure I did that correctly. You may also send one of your great heroes undercover as Secret Service. Um, I will do that. Let's go ahead and send uh, this shield agent here undercover as some Secret Service. Take advantage of that. On the right. Okay, so that leaves me with three attack and uh, not much else. So I could use this three attack and try to fight Loki. But if I do, if I don't do that... <laughs> That, that's true. If I don't do that, okay, if I do that, I might get rid of him. But two weapons, there's a really solid chance he's going to get at least one more attack from some top card there. So I don't think it's worth doing that at all. One Uber weapon, maybe. He, also, if he finds a Master Strike, he's going to play it. So I'm just going to not do that. And move on. Yeah, I guess I'm just putting all the Miguel cards in the, in the President pile. So maybe I can't use him here. <laughs> Not really sandals, especially the way that the mega corporations took over in this future, so I shouldn't be surprised. Alright, moving over. I love the discussions that these <laughs> the flavor of this scheme has caused. Okay, turn seven gives us Oh, I'm glad I didn't fight Loki then. Master strike time. We're gonna be adapting in just a moment. But let's do this first strike. Each player puts a bystander from their victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. Adapt. So no bystanders yet, so everybody's getting a wound. <laughs> and uh, standard wounds go out. Ouch. And they're going to adapt. So who's new? who's coming out now? <laughs> oh, that's so many amendments. I like how they added amendments instead of gotten rid of them. I guess that's only how it works. <laughs> you have to add amendments. I feel like that's what they would do. They would change the rules so they would... Whatever the opposite word of amend is. And get rid of amendments. Instead of amending the amendments. That have happened. Like Prohibition. Oh, I wonder if Prohibition came back before 2099 in this future. And then went away again. Okay, looks like Doc Ock 2099 is back. Or he's showing up for the first time in this game. He has 8 VP. He's worth 8 VP. That's wild. He gets plus 4 attack unless you played at least 8 cards or a hero that costs 8 this turn. Master Strike. Each player discards cards whose total cost is at least 8 or gains a wound. Adapt. I just hope he adapts away. He's going to be hard to fight. His fight, though, is you may gain a hero from the HQ whose cost is at least 8. He gives you a rare, unlike the rare that already left to the escape pile. But uh, let's play my cards. Yeah, he's the only card in Legendary that's 8 VP, and he's the only 8 VP in this uh, Mastermind. So it's very unique and interesting. I love that touch. Okay, 
Toxic Mutation, they don't have a strength, so this is a classic superpower. So it's two attack for me. And that's the third. Oh yeah, this would be fun to mix with Blood Frenzy. And then four recruit. Although no VP values on the heroes you send under cover. Actually, no, you do. It's one. They're all one. Because it's not printed. <laughs> yeah. Continuing the octopus stuff. I, why don't I put this wrong order? Anyway, I can't fight anything. I don't want to fight Loki here. Um. Oh, yeah. Kingpin running for president. That would be a good one. Four recruit. I'm going to keep going with the strength. It seems to be working for me. I'm going to go ahead and take pushpin under the surface. Maybe send get rid of some wounds this way or try to go for all the wounds under cover. Might go for a mono strength deck. That would be pretty fun, actually. And there's another one. Yes, that's one thing we love about it. Also, um, these cards, like I mentioned before, look even better in person. <laughs> All right, four more. Three, four, five, six. Ooh, look at that tech hand. Or sorry, strength hand. This is going to give me, if I play Hulk first, that's eight attack and double faded future. So they both go to the bottom. That's very good. I can hit the mastermind um, if I had the right qualifications. He's going to be 12 attack, so I can't. But no time to think about that right now. we got to play our other hand and run more Miguel for president to be in a safe zone here. I also want to clear these spaces. Maybe that's what I'll do with the 8 attack. Here we go. we got Venture coming in again. He's going to put the top card of the hero deck in the escape pile when he ambushes. And it is another instinct. It's Rage Incarnate Hulk. So that's actually three of the same hero class there. Very interesting. And uh, he gets a bystander. I kind of want to push Loki out of the bank. So I might strategically not fight this venture in the sewers. He's very hard to fight unless you have the top deck knowledge. All right. Well, um, I have a decision to make. Do I want to... Play Venomous Fangs or continue to run Spidey for President? I shouldn't give up now. I already had four, uh, three million Mastermind votes. I lose it four more than the heroes. So I think I'm going to have to send him, uh, keep, keep this campaign going. So I am adding him to the pile here. And there are two million votes now for Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. And I will, if I send one of these undercover, well, actually, does it have to be one that I have in my hand? Let me see. Let me read the scheme again. No, I can play the hero first and then send it undercover. Yep, if you do, you may also send one of your gray heroes undercover. So I will play all my shield agents first. Then I will uh, get some more votes for Miguel. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, send a single shield agent undercover. I'm going to cheat and go over here. Here, haha. -ha. The second one. And for four recruit, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll keep running this campaign because I'm worried about losing. So I will take another Venomous Fang. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll take another Venomous Fang to keep going. And there's a fourth one. All right, good. He's showing up for his, uh, for his campaign events. You wouldn't believe how hard that is to make happen with some candidates. Yes, that is very nice because it's a devastating thing to voluntarily give away a hero you recruited like that. So I like the trade-off. So, so far, between Cybermod and Unleash from Undercover, I think I like Cybermod better in as much as you can compare them. It's a little bit... Messy is the wrong word for Unleash, because I do like Unleash a lot. But you don't really have to go through your victory pile. You just have to keep track of the classes using these tokens. works well. You don't pull anything out of it. So it's a, it's a bit more hands-off that way, which I like. I do like Unleash a lot, but if I had to compare the two, this is my favorite undercover related mechanic. Move it over. I know some people won't agree. Some people really like Unleash. All right. I do like Unleash too, but you know. Turn nine is Hella 2099. She has no ambush effect, but she has two weapons. So um, I need, is it the Ravage card that lets me look at the top of the villain deck? I need that. Yes. I mean, mixing Cybermod with Unleash would be really fun. You got a lot of decisions to make. It'll be fun to do a set from all three. 
Uh, maybe for the tournament, uh, we can do a setup that has shield, uh, Black Widow, and 2099 in it. See who people choose for their heroes. A good point, Sandals. The heroes will unleash tend to want to unleash their own cards. Cybermont seems to not care whose cards end up there. I think that's more interesting. Good point. Okay, two weapons. Fighter fail of henchman villain from any player's victory pile. Enter, I enter the city. I'm looking from the size of the uh, villain deck. I know I didn't forget to put henchmen in, but I haven't seen any yet. All the mandroids are in there somewhere. Escape each player KOs two henchmen from the victory pile or gains a wound. Let's play my combos here. Now, which combo do I want to do? So, if I decide to use Hulk's superpower, I can send a hero from my hand or discard pile under cover. I don't have a discard pile. And for three recruit, I probably want to take something. Uh, for five recruit total, actually. And you know what? I don't need the fifth. I want to take another push paint out of the surface. But if I do play this first, that means I get eight attack and I get to fade and feature both of both of these. There we go. For both of these cards. And with eight attack, I can try to fight Hella first and see if I succeed. Ugh. If I'm lucky, I won't power her up at all if I'm really, really lucky. No. If it's a strikes and twist. I think I should just take max attack right now. Double Fate of Future also guarantees a single one next time. That's true. If I draw them together, though, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two. Okay, they'll be drawn together then, so yes. In that case, yes. Uh, let's do it in that uh, that first order then. Starting with Push Pain under the Surface. To Recruit, I may send a wound from my hand to discard pile under cover. I don't have one. It's in my deck, unfortunately, so that doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, they're actually... Uh, I, didn't, I liked them in Fear itself. Uh, they're even better here. They make you really afraid to fight things. And uh, it's always a little mini-game gamble whether uh, whether or not you want to do it. And the effects like Loki's, the fight-or-fail effects, really make it in this set. All right. I also like how there's an extra section for fight-or-fail in the rule sheet. So each one of these toxic mutations gives me two attack. Superpower activates, two more, and faded future, which means this goes right to the bottom of my deck. Same thing with the second one. Two more attack, two additional attack for the power, the bottom of my deck and then three shield agents gives me five total recruit all right um do i just straight up fight and venture in the bank or do i fight hella and see what happens i could fail i'm gonna try to fight hella so here's how uru we weapons work in case you're not familiar i've generated all the attack i can make I'm going to commit to fighting Hela. If she ends up with 8 attack or less, I defeat her. If she gets more than that, I don't. And I lose all my attack points and I can't attack at all this turn. So the, let's uh, let's commit to it. I lose at least 3 top 2 cards of the villain deck are... The first one is a strike. That's good for me. And the second one is a twist. Hey! I've never been happier to see a strike and a twist. That's what I was hoping for. But now, I'm kind of sad to see them. And even better, I put these in the bottom of the villain deck. Ooh, I tucked a strike and a twist, and she didn't get any bonus attack. That is a stroke of luck. Put him on the bottom randomly. That makes up for the um, for the early uh, votes for for president for the Sinister Six. Whew. Okay, so she gets no attack buff, which means I only spend three, and I get to clear the bank as well. And even better, no henchmen villains are in any player's victory piles. They haven't shown up. So uh, she's just gone. Well, that could not have gotten be gone better. That was perfect. That was amazing. Uh, okay. I have five attack left. Let's clear the bank, too. Fighting Venture. There's no captured hero, so nothing else happens except for taking him out and rescuing the bystander underneath him. So this is rescued. I'm going to keep this to the side of my victory pile because... Um, it was a goblin that cares about bystanders rescued, so... That's gone with five recruit as well. On my strength side, I'm tempted to take another push pan onto the surface to keep that strength train going. So I will. And uh, that's mine. And we got another another doom in its place. All right, that was that was great. So on a twist, I almost wish I could have left that twist there because I know that it's I can make it fail now. All right, there's a wound on top. I can discard two cards to avoid it. Fight against the propaganda. 
Because what crime? There's no crime in the banker. Of the Wait, I know the banker of the sewers. Is Hold on, I got the I got the city spaces wrong. Um, banker streets. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah. So I I I. It's fine. I gotta clear the streets. I was thinking bank and sewers until I just realized and rechanged it. So, um, it's fine. I just gotta clear the streets now. I got two votes for Spidey. That'll buy me some time. Because I was thinking, why would people care about crime in the sewers? They care about crime in the streets. And then I realized, oh, I just got it wrong. Uh, okay, villain deck. Let's go ahead and flip the next card for this turn. And it's another Cyber Nostra coming in. There's too many crimes in our sewers. We got to change something about that. Uh, ambush with the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. Who are we losing? It's another rare. Wow. Not only is it a second rare, but it's a second instinct rare to the escape pile. What are the odds? That's disgusting. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, no tech, so he gets no bonus and uh, no fight effect trigger as well. <laughs> uh, let's, let's let's just not answer the question, Chief. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got three attack and three recruit. At least I can fight the Cyber Nostra, but I really want to fight the Venture, but I can't right now. So, uh, I can fight Loki, but again, no. Let's take him out. I lose the KO power, which is sad, but I have a lot of, uh, I have some other KO power and, uh, undercover things. If you recruit, I need to take more Spidey. I need to keep running for president, so that's pretty easy. I'm not gonna think about that one too hard. Right side is just, uh, doing full campaign, not really taking anything else. All right. There's Doom Blast, a card I didn't get to use last game, so I'm excited to get and use Doom Blast. Left side already has one Doom Undercover, so that will help. A couple of hands that aren't so great coming up. Turn 11 is, uh, there's our first Mandroid. So Mandroids from the Civil War expansion, they get plus one attack for each other Mandroid in your victory pile, fight KO one of your heroes, and uh, they are only two attack right now. So there they are. Yeah, nothing else to do here except for playing my three attack and two recruit. So I can fight the first Mandroid. I don't see why I shouldn't. So let's fight it. Um, it's only two attack and I get to KO one of my heroes, which is nice. I will track. Yeah, they do. The colors are great. Um, it was a, a good choice by, I think Mr. Dollar was the one who came up with that. Give credit where credit is due. Yeah, I think that was him. Okay. Uh, what else was I doing? I do a KO. I'll get rid of the shield agent. KO pile has something in it. Uh, when you're playing this set, you'll be... Re uh, it's remarkable how little stuff w went into the KO pile for my last game. At, at first, anyway. Okay, so they'll get buff next time. Um, I've got two recruit left. Nothing to take here, so I'm going to take my first sidekick. My psychic is Zabu2099. Cool. That's for me. I am calling all special sidekicks and officers their 2099 versions while I'm playing with this set because it's fun. So these two are drawn from the bottom of the deck because of Faded Future and I do a complete reshuffle. <laughs> that is true. Unless they were going to vote for the other guy. And nobody knows about it. Okay, uh, sixth card. There he is. Okay. Turn 12. I'm running more Spidey, but first, another twist. So, you know, good timing. Fortunately, streets are not empty, so I can't avoid it. This is going to be 10 million more votes. Who we say was running? Um, The Goblin. So, yeah, Goblin is running. Uh, I think Dr. Octopus, by the way, feels like he is running in his cabinet for uh, Secretary of the Interior. Just my hunch. So yeah, that's it. Um, he vows to crush crime again. He's out here campaigning for him. And that hurts. So I'm definitely going to keep running Spidey. So let's do it. We're going to uh, get some more votes for uh, Spidey 2099. That's 10 million more votes. I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, he does have the most VP, so he is running for VP. 
because you know he wants to be present anyway. I don't know much about the person that is Doc Ock twenty ninety nine, but he's an octopus, so he wants to be president so he can have a, a tentacle and everything. Ten million or one million more votes for the hero. So they're only one apart, which is good. I get to send somebody undercover. Let's uh, send. Uh, well, let's play my three agents, and then send this one undercover. Which means I can recruit something else. No more Spideys here. I think I want to save Doom Blast for the left because I already have a Doom Undercover. All I gotta get is this one and then uh, Cyber Mod. One range will work already and the three will work later. Um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Cyber Spectre. Start getting some tech undercover here so I can uh, ramp things up. It's the only other card I can take, so I'll do that. That's. Ghost Rider's gotta go somewhere. He's a very good hero. I had fun with him last game. And there's Rage Incarnate, which will help on the left-hand side with the other Hulk cards that I have. And this Wound card that I have, obviously. I got two Toxic Mutations on the left, so I get the bonus on at least one. Yeah, I felt like you're gonna have time for another game after this, so I, at that point, I will take your suggestions. Oh, of course he is! Hence the Octopus Arms. That's perfect. Turn 13. Lucky number. Mandroid. Okay, so they are going to get... I got to do that thing where I adjust it for each player. So left-hand side has one Mandroid. So on the left-hand side, they are three attack. And on the right-hand side, they are two attack. So let's go. Um, I can definitely fight them. Let me start with Zabu here. Came a card from my hand or discard pile. I don't have anything in my discard pile, so I could save Zabu to get rid of a wound later on. But I could use it to get rid of an agent. I think I'm going to hold off on using Zabu right now and use him to get rid of a wound or an agent I don't have. Because if I keep my three recruit here, um, I can use it to recruit a Doom. So let's not do that. Let's play two Toxic Mutations. The first one's going to give me two attack. The second one's going to give me two attack, two more attack, and Faded Future. So this one goes to the bottom of my deck, and then I'll play my one, two, three recruit. So I can clear the streets, which is good. I definitely want to do that. Yeah, and I get the Computer Scientist, which is attack. Which uh, would be better to send undercover on the other side with Ghost Rider, but I, I, it's a priority to clear the streets right now. So uh, we're gonna take out Venture. No, the fight effect doesn't do anything because he didn't capture a hero. And I rescue the heartless computer scientist. It gives me more KO ability, but um, it is what it is. For the recruit, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take subvert this new future, and then I'll take Doom Blast later once I send this undercover. Actually, no, I need three. But this will help me recruit more things. And if a more powerful card comes up, I can get it. So another subvert in this new future is being recruited by me right now. And there we go. Flesh Grafted Doom Boss. There the tech comes into play. This is really good. Look at this tech. You may look at the top three cards of your deck. If you do, send one of them undercover and put the rest back in any order. That's really good. A good uh, alternate, alternate for KOing things. Plus, it helps boost Cybermod. I can get my third ranged... Undercover that way. Cybermod is a lot of fun. I didn't expect it to be this fun when I read it at first. Not that I didn't expect it to be fun, but I just didn't know how much. Turn 14. Which card? Uh, Fleshcrafted Doombots? Does it have Cybermod? Um, no, because his other cards do. Um, because the Doombots are not a modification of his own body. They are external things. So, that's how I would see it. Anyway. Here we go. Turn 14. Another twist. So, I cleared the right spots, which is cool. So, real quick. If there's a villain on the banker streets, I do the thing I usually do, but there wasn't. Otherwise, you may discard two cards to counter negative advertising 
Shuffle this twist back into the villain deck and play another card from, the, from that deck. If you don't discard, stack this twist next to the mastermind as 10 million votes. So I will choose to discard two cards. I'm going to send Spidey uh, to the this stack with another 10, another million votes. So I'm not going to do anything with the troopers this turn. Although, no, uh, the manager does two attack on this turn. So I, uh, on my right hand side, so I could fight them. As far as recruiting, though. Yeah, I'd rather clear the sewers so they don't get pushed to the bank. So let me actually discard these two agents. Countering some negative advertising. Shuffle the twist back in. And playing another card from the villain deck. Okay. Did I miss something? Okay. Um, I'm shuffling this in. I like how Miguel's only platform is I have venomous fangs. Vote for me. That's true, but it's still worth shuffling. I was able to tuck those away at the time, but if I don't do this, um, well, let me actually do the math then for a second. So I've played five twists. There's 11 total. There's one at the bottom of the deck. That means there's uh, five more. Um, I'm going to run Spidey for President again. Let's say I don't run him anymore. I would lose after a twist uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I would need to run two more Spideys to completely avoid that. Well, that's actually a very good point. I may not have to do that right now. We go all the Spidey I've run. He's only at 3 million votes right now. He's going to be at 4. Yeah, I could go either way here. Put the twist back here on top. You know what? I think you might have a point. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I reading this wrong the whole time? It is 10 million votes. So it's not 3 million votes. That's why I was saying it wrong. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is totally wrong. Nobody said anything. Hold up. I have to fix this. Things are inaccurate. Um, I have that as zero. That should be better. There we go. That's so much better. So I got 30 million votes for Spidey and 40 million votes for the Sinister Six. All right, you know what? I think you're right. I'm not going to shuffle. I'm just going to keep trying to throw Spidey at things because I do have that guaranteed strike interest at the bottom. No, I just forgot. I, I I was saying the scheme one. I was looking at my notes, and I'm like, oh, I thought I was wrong. Anyway, yeah, let's do it. Um, actually, that's going to be... So hold on real quick. I, I missed counting one of the masterminds. No, they have four. That's correct. It's going to be at five right now if I do this. It's a dangerous game I'm playing if I do this. 50 million votes for the mastermind. It's going to tighten up after I play Spidey, but... Um, I guess, what kind of campaign do we want to run? Do we want to do counter advertising or do we want to take the high road and just run on our, our policies and our platform? We're going to run on our Venomous Fangs platform, I think. And hopefully, that'll be the correct advice. Alright, we're going to let it happen. We're going to let it happen. Alright, we're going to run Spidey here. So let's, uh, Trooper, Trooper, Agent. I didn't have to play the Agent, but I felt like it. As will be the last thing they do before they go to the Secret Service. Let's uh, send Venomous Fangs right there as 10 million more votes for Spider-Man 2099. Is it 40? It's a Canada event. <laughs> yes. Um, and we will send uh, this shield agent uh, undercover. And I'll use my two attack to hit the Mandroid. And KO one of my troopers. So uh, yeah, I'll take him out. On the right hand side, best to split these up so they uh, get the buff evenly on both sides and uh, we'll KO a trooper. Alright, that's it. Thank you for your patience with the deliberation on that decision, but it's an important one. See what goes on in the war room. Turn 15. Wow, the villain deck is way far away from where it should be. Turn 15 is a bystander. Loki captures a bystander. Here you go. 
And he's still scary. So let's play some Hulks. So to recruit you, you may send a wound from your hand or discard pile under cover. Um, I'm going to go first start by doing that and sending this wound under cover. Okay. And then I'll play the second push pin under the surface. Two more recruit. And I can do that same thing. Or I can send a hero from my hand or discard pile under cover instead. There are no wounds on my discard pile, so I will instead send this shield agent from my discard pile under cover. That's the second one. Hold on. Before I do that, are there non grays I want to send under cover? No, Doom will send himself, and I don't want to send either. I can send Zabu under cover. You know what? That might be worth it. There might be a Cybermod Instinct I might need. Somewhere down the line. Should I send an undercover Sabertooth Tiger? Is that ever a good idea? You know what? It'll be funny. I will do that. I might be able to KO this agent some other way. So, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I don't have an Unleashed sound effect. There's a lot of things I don't have sound effects for. We're sending Zabu undercover. It's like... Yes, but also, like, I have to remind myself, are there any Cybermod Instinct? I, you know what? There's Cybermod Rain, Cybermod Tech. Plus, Zabu can KO wounds, but Hulk can get rid of wounds on his own and other cards. Just, just because I'm not confident how much Cybermod Tech there is, I'm not going to send Zabu. Even though that is... Um, yes, you're correct. Even so, if I had some really powerful Cybermod Instinct cards, I would consider it. But uh, I will go back to sending the Ancient Undercover. Some other animal. Alright, and with my four recruit, um, I do want my deck to be as small as possible. That said, uh, I do want to take Rage Incarnate because I already have one Moon Cybermodded. And this is now a... Um, yeah, right? Um, this is now a three attack card for a three cost. So that's pretty much a no-brainer for me. Uh, oh, actually, Doom Blast is also what I want to take. But hold on, I'm going to play the effect, but just kidding. i got to think about it some more. Um, this Doom Blast is also a guaranteed one attack, just like Rage Incarnate. But it's almost a guaranteed, almost a five attack. I just have to send one more ranged undercover. Or actually, two more. But I have a Doom that's going to go there soon. I think Doom Blast is where I want to go, actually. So let's take this. It'll be three attack right now, five attack later. Yep, okay. For three. Yeah, there's some cool considerations this set provides that you don't usually see. New ways to think about uh, which cards to get rid of. New ways to think about your victory pile. One thing I don't look forward to playing this set with is... Rise of the Living Dead, or actually Soulbind. Although Soulbind specifically says Soulbinding Villains. I don't remember off the top of my head is there anything that can Soulbind a hero card in your victory pile, so... Maybe I won't think about that. My gut says no, but maybe there is. I don't actually remember. Turn 16. Oh, by the way, I have one wound under cover, so I should... Make sure to note that this little one means there's one wound under cover. Turn 16 is a master strike. Could not avoid. <laughs> So here we go. Each player discards cards whose total cost is eight, at least eight for that player or gains a wound. Okay, well, that would mean discarding all of my cards here. Actually, no, I can't. I just gain a wound. Let, let me reread this again. I, what does this mean? I If I... I could choose to discard a total cost of eight or gain a wound. So yeah, I don't discard anything because I can't make it. I just get the wound over here. I misread that the first time. So wound over here. Um, and left side is I can do the discard by discarding my two cards here, but I don't really care about wounds. He can send them undercover right immediately, so I will take the wound on the left hand side. <laughs> discard everything again, gain a wound. So I'll just gain the wound on the left hand side too. And uh, let's adapt. By the way, um, these should be face up. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm so used to putting tactics face down. But it's a habit. They should be face up. Not like it matters, but you can see what's there. Alright, so I'll do it correctly this time. 
And Venom is our... All right, uh, what is Venom's cabinet position here in the... Uh, in the uh, Goblin 2099 uh, administration. 10 attack, Venom gets plus, minus one attack for each card that you have that costs two. Master Strike, each player KOs a card that costs two from their hand or discard pile or gains a wound. Adapt, fight, you may gain a hero that costs two from the HQ or KO pile, adapt. It is so cool that each tactic here has different art. It really makes you feel like you're fighting a new individual all the time. This <laughs> is great. Um, I see a lot of different, a lot of different posts Secretary of Education, Venom 2099 is very funny. Or, I, I, you know, I can see him as Secretary of uh, Health and Human Services. All right, he is going to be the Health and Human Services Secretary. So, we'll leave it, we'll leave it there. So, uh, Cyber Spectre, we're going to play it. I have no uh, Cyber Mod tech, so it's just to recruit. It's just an officer right now. But that's going to give me a total of... 3-4 recruit. I need to keep moving the HQ along because I need to see more Spidey 2099 agriculture is another good one. Otherwise, they can get out of control. I have two Hell Rides. Um, I'll take one Hell Ride. Let's take this Hell Ride. This can send cards from the HQ undercover. This is how you can get certain Cyber Mods. I like how, yeah, this one can send other things. So you can Cyber Mod with other cards that you may not be using. I did that uh, last game with uh, Ultimate Spider-Man who was part of the setup. So he is getting recruited. And replaced with another flesh grafted doom bots. Hopefully I can get these soon. I'm left with two attack that won't go anywhere, so I'll end my turn there. And uh yeah, that's my whole deck. Making sure. Yep, that's a reshuffle for me. This deck I feel it feels like a pretty thin deck. I was thinking, oh I must be doing well, but I've just sent away all my Spideys. To run for president. This is going to be a very fun one to be completely randomized. Ooh, that's, um... I might be able to trigger, use a Hell Ride to send a tech undercover and get one more recruit from Cyber Spectre. Give me one, two, three, four, five recruit. This dude can go on either side and do well. Probably the tech side, though. Turn 17 is another Mandroid. This Mandroid is going to be 3 attack no matter where it is right now. So we'll just do a universal 3. What do I want to do? Do I want to send it here from my hand or discard pile under cover? Or do I want to... Toxic Mutations. I think I have a wound in my discard pile, so I think I want to send that wound under cover. It's going well so far. I'm having more fun again with this set. It's very good. So let's play uh, Push Pain first. To recruit, I will send this wound from my discard pile under cover. That's going to be my second wound under cover. I'll increase... Oh, my little die is gone. I must have picked it up and moved it. Oh yeah, I moved I moved it for the Mandroid because I forgot what it was for. So <laughs> I'll put it down here right now. No, oh, that's why. I'll put it right over here. There we go. Now we can see things. Next, Toxic Mutations. Because I played a Strength, I get uh, two attack. Two more attack and faded future. Bottom of the deck, you go. Unfortunately, I recently did a shuffle, so now they're very far away. Ravage is far away. Oh, another trooper for a sixth attack. Now, um, this seems like a good time to try to fight Loki. But he will play Master Strikes. Um, one is at the bottom of the deck. Two have been played. If I fail... I have to play that one. But if he escapes, well, there's another Loki in the villain deck, and he can ambush and play one of the masters, or put a master strike back in. So it's probably a better time than most to, to do this. I could easily fail, though. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. So I have six attack. Let's declare the fight on Loki. First card from the villain deck is a Mandroid. That's, he's at four attack now. Second card is a strike. Good news, bad news here. So I have to play the strike, but I do defeat him. So let's do this in the correct order. Um, first, he is defeated. I get the bystander, and then we play the strike. Um, it's fine. It could be a lot worse, actually. I did speed the deck up a little bit. But he is gone. So um, let's take him out. 
he got taken out for four. And uh, that's going to defeat him. I rescue the bystander. And then the fighter fell effect, which means that um, this mandroid is going to go to the bottom of the villain deck in random order, which means just the one. That means only one thing goes to the bottom, actually. But I do have to play this Master Strike, so here we go. Okay. Each player KOs a card that costs two from their hand or discard pile or gains a wound. So left-hand side has none. Left-hand side gains a wound. Not a big deal over here. And right-hand side... By the way, I, I appreciate how most of these are choices. A lot of them are or gain a wound, or gain a wound, or gain a wound. I don't have any over here, so it's not a choice here. I will gain another wound over here on the right-hand side. Psychic Trauma. Actually, this uh, worked out okay, despite the fact I played a Master Strike. And then they're going to adapt. Who's next? Is someone coming back? Perhaps. It's going to be... Oh, Dr. Octopus finding down his back for his VP run. It's a VP debate. The real question is, who is Miguel's VP? Maybe he didn't pick one yet. It's too early for the debate, maybe. Um, okay, again, he has plus four attack. Let's play at least eight cards right here. that cost eight this turn. So there he is. Um, I already played all my cards. This was because I fought Loki. It's very weird to play a Master Strike at the end of your turn, but I just did. And I have four Recruit left. I can't fight the Mandroids because they're one too powerful. And... This time I will take Rage Incarnate because it is going to give me three attack for three cost. That's pretty good. Even though I should prioritize more Strength cards and thinning the deck, thinning the deck. But I also want to see uh, Spidey... 2099 Massive Gamma Detonation is a very good card. It's got five attack on it. You have to discard two cards to play, gain a wound, and it has tech beta future, though. It's very, really, really good. We'll see if I can get it. Give me some tech. There's Doom Blast. There's Zabu. Okay. Ooh, KOs, KOs. I can't trigger this heart computer scientist, though. I gotta show more Miguel though. I'm gonna be in trouble if that doesn't pop up. Turn 18 is, another, like I just mentioned, okay, luckily the bank and streets are empty, so I have I can make the decision again. Um, if I give him the votes, he's gonna have 60 million, which I'll add right now just to see. I'll lose after two more twists if I don't run a Spidey or I don't avoid it. I think I'm still relatively safe. Even though it is six twists played, and there's five more. One's at the bottom, so really four more before the game's over. One's near the bottom. There's a Mandarin in the bottom now. Alright, I think I'm going to play the dangerous game and let that happen. Alright, let's play some cards. Um, starting with Hellride. To attack, you may send this and a card from the HQ undercover. If you do, you get plus two attack. I don't need the attack this turn. I'm going to have enough to hit the Mandroid. I can't hit Doc Ock because he's 12 attack. Actually, this might be the time to start tracking attack. He's 12 unless I play 8 cards or 8 cost hero. So, what to do? Um, if I do send a hero under cover though, that's going to refresh the, the hero deck, and, or the HQ, and that's pretty expensive right now. I'm going to avoid the Undercover right now, so I'll just play it for two attack. Uh, Cyber Spectre, though, won't activate. Let's say I did. I would get one, two, three, four, five recruit. There's nothing here for five, so it wouldn't help me right now. Yeah, so let's go as, as I was doing it. So that's two attack, three attack, and four attack. One, two, three, four recruit if I play this all out right now. Uh, maybe, but not yet. Not yet. Um, I'm going to hit Mandroid. K one of my heroes when I do. So that's gone. Uh, Bluey. I'm going to uh, KO a shield agent. Although I do need more recruit. And then I will take this uh, Hell Ride. I wish this said Hell Ride 2099 because it sounds like a 
fun motorcycle trip. What's gonna take its place? More Doom Blast. I do want that in the left. That's good. And we'll end it there. So, I got two Mandroids in the Victory Pile on the right now. But I'm uh, dangerously close to some scary stuff. This might be a healing turn. Or a rest turn, as we colloquially use. I have two wounds. Not a great number of ways to get rid of them. But if a uh, Spidey shows up, I'll probably take that if I can. The two cost I could take if it pops up. Where are the two cost? I need those. <laughs> Turn 19. Thor, 2099. He comes in with his Uber Enchanted Weapon into the sewers. Ambush. Each player discards a card that costs five or more worthy or gains a wound. Wound on the left. And wound on the right. So. And yep, this was my hand on the right hand side. So. More wounds out on the right. There we go. Fun. Lots of wounds. I like this card a lot. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to read that out loud. So, yeah, no um, no activations. Let's start with Zabu. KO a card from a hand discard pile. I'll leave the wounds because Hulk can send those undercover. And he will send one undercover right now. But let me actually uh, KO a shield agent from my discard pile. Get rid of Zabu. And now I'll play Hulk to recruit. And I will send this wound from my discard pile. Did I get a Grievous one? No. I have just two standard. Let's send this one undercover. Actually, hold on. No, Zabu could have hailed the other wound, but it's better this way, actually. And uh, Doom Blast is, because I have the Cyber Mod uh, range, she's going to give me three total attack for now. And uh, the Computer Scientist does not get the tech activated trigger, so I've got four recruit. No, you're all good. And then one more attack. Can't fight Thor, can't fight anything. I got five recruit, which is one short of what I need for all these cool things, but I can take the other Doom Blast, and I'll quickly take the other Doom Blast because I like saying Doom Blast, and I can get a sidekick too. All right, another Rage Incarnate. Let's get a sidekick. This sidekick is going to be a standard sidekick 2099. And yeah, nothing to fight there. You cannot fight a villain with Ur enchanted weapons. Uh, if you don't have enough attack to meet their base. <laughs> Alright, I got both uh, Toxic Mutations here and Doom. So we're going to get another ranged in the victory pile. This might be a healing turn. We'll see what happens. Turn 20 is... Why did I put it over here? Old habits showed up. <laughs> you can see it right You can see it right there. Okay, uh, Mandroid comes in. The Mandroid here are going to be three on the left... And four on the right. That is not up for grabs. That's for wounds. All kinds of new counters and stuff. Yup. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a, a resting healing turn. So uh, I will immediately end my turn. Well, I don't end my turn. I just commit not to fight or recruit anything. So uh, KO both of these wounds. And, and my turn is over. Fortunately, that means that I can't avoid... The Sinister Six getting more votes, but I can't do anything about Thor 2099 anyway. <laughs> Resting 2099, yes. Um, but at least um, they'll, be they'll be pushed to the rooftops and I can control the Mandroid in the bank. So that's the plus. I have to see more Spidey. He stopped showing up to his campaign events. I'm getting a little bit worried about him. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One wound left. Oh, this another healing turn? Because <laughs> I can get rid of the Grievous one. Right side is doing a bunch of nothing except running Spidey and not even doing that right now. Left hand side has got some good stuff here. Turn 21 is another Mandroid. All right, great. All hail the Mandroids protesting this election or whatever they're doing. Uh, oh, I did it again. Nope, I got to keep those three wounds there. It's going to be... Uh, Four on the right-hand side and three on the left. Let's play some cards. I'm going to start with first Toxic Mutations. 
I get two attack. Second one, I get two more attack on top of that. And then um, Faded Future, they go to the bottom. Oh, I have no decks. So they're immediately going to go to the bottom, which is the top of my deck. We've got Doom's uh, Subvert This New Future. I can send this and a card from my hand discard pile under cover. If you do, you get plus one recruit. That'll give me three, four, five, six. I can get one of these good things. Excellent. So let's do that. Uh, which card from my discard pile should I send under cover? I can send Wounds under cover with Hulk for free. So I'm going to choose another um, Shield Agent. I could send Doom Blast. I don't have three ranged. But then I lose my other Doom Blast. I should probably just wait for another one. So let's send uh, both of these under cover. One more. Uh, well, I didn't give myself the first recruit, so that was a total of three recruit. And uh, another ranged here. That's two. Four, five, six. Let's see what I want to take. So I got two choices. I got massive gamma detonation. We had to look at this one. Five attack. I can gain wounds easily. Send them undercover later. It's very, very strong. Very good. I've also got the Doom card. Three attack with a tech trigger. I can thin my deck even further. With Faded Future, this is a tempting one. I can use the computer scientist to trigger this. Maybe more tech when I pick them up. But it's just going to be a three attack card mostly until I can thin things. So I think what I want to do is first take Hulk. And then once I get another... Then I get another six recruit. I can get uh, flesh grafted. But the other side of this is getting six recruits going to be hard. I had to get rid of that doom to do it. And here's my whole discard pile. I got the heartless computer scientist. That's two recruit, four recruit. It could happen. I got some hulks that have some recruit on them. So I'm not quite sure which one. Oh, by the way, other choice is detective vibrations. Four attack for the top two cards. The villain deck put the back in any order. Fate of future. Hey, scratch everything. This is the card I want to take. I was sleeping on this one. And this one helped me in the last game. I'm thinning the deck a lot. Yeah. What was I thinking? I gotta hit masterminds. Okay, replaced with down in the dregs. Alright, this is another one that came in handy last time that draws those cards. I need those on the left. I don't have a lot of instinct, but if I thin the deck enough, should be okay with a lot of different hero classes. Let's figure out what I'm fighting. I could try to fight Thor. But all it's going to take is a villain at the top with 2 VP or more, and I'll fail. Oh, actually, this is good. Even if I fail, put a card that costs 5 or more from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck, which means I'll draw it next. This is a, I, I, I do want to fight Thor, but I could fight Thor, but if I don't fight the bank and a, a twist comes up, I can't avoid the votes. So this would be really fun, because even if I failed, I could put uh, Ravage in my deck immediately on the bottom and draw right now. But uh, the Mastermind is already 20 million votes ahead of Miguel, and there's no Spidey in the HQ. So I probably should do the smart thing and fight. I can fight both Mandroids and clear both of those spots. The rares in the escape pile make Duck Ock that much harder to defeat. Yes, he took them. Although... Um, one of them was eight, one of them was seven, though. But still, yeah, they because they add up. Oh, no, that's hero that costs eight or eight cards, so the seven cost wouldn't help me here. Let's take out some androids. Let's do the safe thing. Okay, three for each K, one of your heroes. That that's the, thins this deck even more, so we, we will take both of them out, one at a time. So, yeah, one for three, one for three. Oh, no, this is going to cost, hold on, this is going to cost four, so I can't hit both. Yeah, because I have to fight them one at a time. So, never mind. I'll still do what I... I'll fight the one in the bank. So, uh, I have to fight it for three. Okay, one of my heroes. I almost uh, did a misplay because I didn't wait and wasn't patient. And now this one is universally four on all sides. So now I can't fight it with the uh, three attack that I have left. Still wanted to clear that bank, though. Alright, we'll move on. Toxic Mutations was the only card in my deck after being put there. We'll see. What's funny is if I um, do want to reshuffle the villain deck next turn, I could um, discard two wounds to do it. I think I will have to shuffle it back in if um, the next one's a twist because three away from 40 is too far. Two, three... Four, 
five, six. Um, that's a good hand. That's a lot of good stuff there. Otherwise, I'll probably rest or heal or whatever. Okay, turn 22 is another Thor. At least he's not in the bank right now. Ambush each player discards a card that costs five or more gains wound. So right side fails. I have to gain the wound. So where's my wounds? Here's my wounds. Wound. And then left hand side can. But I'm not discarding this Ravage, especially because I can double dip. Neither of them. They can both fade in future. That would be foolish of me. Plus, I don't really care about wounds so much over here. Sending wounds undercover feels almost better better than KOing them with Hulk for some reason. Can't really tell you why, it just does. Alright, so let me just check out what I've got. So if I did decide to heal, I could KO both of these wounds. But I could also get two attack, send this and a card from the HQ undercover, refreshing the HQ. Plus, give me four total attack and letting me get six total attack here. I think I have to not rest. I think I have to focus on moving the HQ and and, and clearing the city. So, let's actually play Hell Ride for two attack. Um, I'm gonna do this this time. I almost have four wounds, so I hesitate to send Rage and Karna undercover. I probably am gonna send um. One of these techs to boost up the other cyber mod, and I can draw a card with Cyber Spectre. Plus, get one of these six costs out of there. I'm gonna send one Doombot undercover. So here we go. You may send this and a card from the HQ undercover if you do get plus two attack. I'll commit to doing that. We're gonna send this and a Doombot's undercover. Which means now there are two tech mods on this side. One and two. Right there. Beep, beep, very nice. Replaced with a down on the dregs, not Spidey. And uh, just confirming. Yep. So this, by the way, um, Cyber Mod Triple Tech would work if I did have the three techs, even though I lost the card because I played the card. But that doesn't happen. I don't get the bonus, unfortunately. But I do get to use Cyber Spectre, which is oh, that's why I can't keep these here because they're on the close up. What did I do last time? Keep them up here. Yep. Uh, okay. So, uh, two recruit. And I get both bonuses. One for the first one, Cyber, cyber Mod Tech. And the second one for the both cyber, cyber Mod Techs, I get to draw a card, which is a Shield Trooper. Alright, and I get five, six, seven attack. Really tempting to, uh, fight Thor right now, but I gotta clear the bank. You know what? He only has one weapon. So yeah, option A is I fight the Mandroid, leaving three attack on the table. Just so that I can have the bank open so if the left side gets a twist, I can hopefully shuffle it in and avoid the president getting... Uh, that candidate getting more votes. Um, if I fight... Thor, I can put a card from my discard pile on top of my on the bottom of my deck. I don't have anything good there. So. I'm gonna leave Thor where he is for now, actually. I'm just gonna fight the Mandroid. Just in case. Um, let's do that and I get to KO a hero. That hero KO'd is the uh, a trooper. Thinning this side a little bit. And we will recruit. Maybe I should have done that first just to see who would have come up. I don't want any of these three costs on this side that said I do have one do I have a wound undercover on this side I don't think I did um, I really like these down in the dregs for what I got on the left but um, they're all comments I'll see more I'm gonna take one just to refresh the HQ so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and recruit one of them right here give me some more recruit okay another toxic mutations Still not Spidey. This deck is very thin, but... Uh, Hell Ride will almost work. I got two tech mods. I need a third one. Basically, it's a sacrifice card. If I play it... To get the uh, third tech undercover. 
Sometimes you gotta make upgrade choices, you know? All right, let's move these up here. So I can put these, blah, blah, blah. All right, turn 23 is Heimdall, 2099. He's going to capture a bystander and push Thor into the bank, which is un unfortunate. But I got a lot of attack here, so we'll see what I end up hitting. Um, his fighter fails at this rainbow bridge, if the rainbow bridge is empty, rainbow bridge, and Heimdall's ur attended weapon revealed the villain, that villain enters the bridge, when, when a villain enters this way, shuffle the card from the bystander deck into the villain deck. Let's play all my good stuff. So first I got the awesome Maria, but let's go ahead and go to push pan to the surface. Um, starting with this, I'm going to use this, uh, effect, the top effect to send this wound from my discard pile, uh, undercover. Now I got four wounds undercover. And I got rid of a wound that way. Second card is going to be Toxic Mutations, which is going to give me two attack plus two more plus Faded Future. Thanks to Hulk. That goes to the bottom of the deck. Same thing with the tech mutation Vibrations. Four more attack. Four attack on a card is wonderful, especially for a six cost. Reveal the top two cards of the villain deck and put them back in any order. This helps with the Uru Enchanted Weapons. Um, ooh, it's a twist and a mandroid. Okay, I can send this twist to the bottom, too. So it doesn't matter what order, I'm going to send them away. Oh, they have one weapon, so it does matter. Twist on top. That's great, I get to tuck a twist. No, I know I'll be safe. Mostly, actually. And this gets faded. Future goes to the bottom. This is such a powerful card. This... Detect Vibrations. Look at all that it does. It's very, very good. Okay, let's play the second push pin under the surface. Two more recruit. Um, no wounds on my hand or discard pile. I can send a hero from my hand or discard pile undercover instead. I will send the shield trooper undercover because I know I'll succeed on the fight. And I can tuck the twist. And um, I want five recruit to get more good stuff. So both of these are going undercover. Oh no, just the trooper. Just going undercover, not Hulk. For my hand. All right, and a fifth recruit. All right, let's go ahead and fight Thor. 2099. Yes, he is very. <laughs> you can stop using 2099 after everything. Um, okay, I declared a fight against Thor, the one in the um, in the bank specifically. Did I press the right button? Nope, that's the bank one. Okay, uh, top card is. Hey, look, it's a scheme twist. Look how surprising. This gets tucked to the bottom of the deck. At the end of this, Thor gets no bonus. So I have three attack left after this. Um, and put a card that costs five more from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. I don't have a discard pile right now, unfortunately. So he's just uh, defeated and the bank is clear. <laughs> I never said to do it in the first place. Um, three attack, I do have Heimdall. I will fail this because I know there's a, there's a henchman on the top. Maybe I should have done that in the other direction, but I didn't want to tuck a henchman. So I can't fight Heimdall. Um, I could declare the fight, but that will put a henchman on the bridge. I don't want that to happen. So we'll leave it there. Uh, we will take another Toxic Mutations. I have a lot of these. They're very good. I was trying to use other heroes, but Ravage, once again, is becoming the MVP of this game. I guess he's just that good. Um, hey, Spidey! You have a job. Well, actually, let me do the math here. So there's five more twists, but two of them near the bottom. That means three more. That means if I run Spidey, that'll be 50. And it'll be 90. Yeah, so I can still lose. <laughs> no worries. And so, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Do I really have... I discarded my hand, right? So I don't have any cards left. I discarded it. Three, four, five, six... I got a sidekick. That might be for some uh, it's for some good plays. Okay, here we go. Turn 24 is... What a surprise. Getting to 80 million is the only way to guarantee it. Yes. I mean, minus the two twists that are near the bottom. So it's almost like there's nine twists in the deck until I get to the very end. All right, and there's a mandroid. We know what they do. But how much attack do they have? I forgot the values. So left-hand side still only has how many mandroids? One or two. Two mandroids. So on the left, 
they're going to be... Where are all my dice? Oh, here they are. Four attack on the left. Right-hand side is a few. That's three. They are five on the right. I'm splitting these up pretty well, so I'm happy to see that. Not a lot of synergy here, but uh, that's to be expected. Should I do more undercovering? Um... Don't want to send Spidey undercover. I want to recruit him. And I can do that this turn. Actually, let me do that first. <laughs> Maybe. All right. We're going to play Down on the Dregs. No effect. 3, 4, 5 recruit. We're going to pick up Spider Silk Webbing because... Candidate. Actually, if I, if I fought Thor... Oh, another Tech Vibrations. If I fought Thor, I could put him on the bottom of my deck, but it's not going to speed it up that much. So Hellride is going to give me two attack at least. If I send it under cover, I will get four more attacks. That'll be six. Um, I think I want to still keep um, Hellride around because that'll give me a consistent four attack every turn. But I do have to send one more tech under cover. So yeah, I think I'll hold off. Um, what am I even recruiting? What am I even doing? I already recruited. I don't have five recruit anymore. So I will um, not bother with Hell Ride right now. No, it's a comment. It's a comment. I'll see more of them, hopefully. So let, 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 let's do send it undercover. So I will send this and um, I'm going to send Hulk, Hulk's five attack card undercover actually. No, but I don't know which one to send undercover. They're so good. This is four attack guaranteed on the left now. This is five attack with some conditions. On the right hand side, not currently. There's nothing else I need uh, a cyber mod of. But I'm, I'm going to have three in a second when I send Hellride, so... I could send down on the Dregs undercover, but that's cool to have on the left. But the deck is so thin, I might not need it, is the thing. So because of that, because it's Recruit, and because it's getting to be late game, I will send this down on the Dregs undercover. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So I got both effects on this card. So first, let's refill. I got, ooh, death beyond death. Two attack for sending undercover, two more attack for a triple cyber mod tech. And we got death beyond death here. Let's look at it. This is the KO Mandroid. This is the one I was hoping for because Mandroids will get weaker this way. Plus I get more attack, but I can't take it now. Um, so for six attack, I could try and fight Thor. I might tuck something. I could fight Heimdall. It's going to speed up, or it won't speed up the deck because it'll shuffle the bystander in, but that will also shuffle the bottom, so I don't really want to fight Heimdall. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is try to fight Thor and see what happens and let the Mandroid get pushed to the bank. Yeah, let's try to fight Thor. We'll see what the top card of the villain deck is. It is... Okay, cool. A Master Strike. Wow, this is this is great. So, not only does he stay at... Th uh, I look at the wrong guy. So, staying at 5 attack, but um, I get to put Spider Silk Webbing on the bottom of my deck, even though there was nothing else in my discard pile. So it didn't really change the order at all. <laughs> uh, it was still fun. And I get to tuck that strike to the bottom. Tucking a lot of cool things with that, so get out of here. On the right. And then um, the Master Strike gets tucked to the bottom, near the bottom. I have one attack left, but nothing to do with it. So the other two strikes are tucked somewhere near the bottom. Two twists are tucked somewhere near the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, and I can run this Spidey Uncommon. Would have rather run his uncommon or his uh his common instead of his uncommon, sorry, but it's not showing up. I got two wounds again. And I haven't hit a single mastermind tactic, and that's the part that worries me. Maybe soon? No rares to get yet. Turn 25 is another Heimdall 2099. 
and he's gonna get a bystander. Oh, this one should have a bystander too. I don't know why he doesn't. I just forgot to give it to him. So the first one should have a bystander. Um, it's a news reporter, and this new one also gets a bystander. It's going to be the public speaker. It's weird that I didn't do that. All right, let's uh, play my cards. I'm gonna start with my sidekick. Draw two, one, and two. Mm, no triggers at all here, so everything's just gonna be played as is. So, two, three, four, recruit. Danger of having a lot of different hero classes. Two, attack. Although I do get cyber mod uh, ranged. <laughs> That's true. Uh, cyber mod ranged, the first one I get to activate because I have at least one. So I get five total attack after I play Doom Blast. And six after I play the Trooper. And then one wound here. Let's try fighting, oh, let's try fighting a Heimdall. So news reporter lets me draw a card, and public speaker draws a card, or gets me one recruit. Which would give me five, which would mean I could take death beyond death. Is this the side I want to take that on, though? I want detect vibrations. I want a thinner deck. Oh, yeah, and um, this would allow me to farm the mandroids that I have, only even though I have a couple, to KO more things. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's do that. Let's fight uh, the Heimdall in the sewers. So declare the fight. Top card of the villain deck is another Mandroid. Which unfortunately is going to get tucked, but it does defeat Heimdall. He's at uh, four attacks, so I go down to two. And uh, the and uh, uh, it doesn't speed up the deck actually, um, because it replaces it with a. It doesn't. Um, it's going to shuffle in a bystander now. Oh wait, shoot! I forgot it would shuffle a bystander in. Okay, well, I've shuffled the villain deck now. <laughs> I totally forgot it would shuffle it. I would have not done that. But uh, I can't go back now. I revealed the mandroid. Uh, I think I would have had to eventually shuffle. So I shouldn't feel too bad about this. I, I tucked so many good things, though. Darn. I, 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 I was not paying attention to um, Heimdall's fight effect. It's fine. We'll play it through. It enters the bridge. Shuffle the bystander into the villain deck. I got some good cards. That should be okay, right? I want to peek at the bottom of it, though. Look at that. That's what it looked like. Okay, here we go. Shuffle it in. Now it's scary because I wasn't paying attention. All right, it's all shuffled in. Let's hope that uh, it's gonna be a good one. Take out uh, Heimdall here. And uh, rescue the public speaker, I get one recruit. That's five. Um. <laughs> yep. Um, let's uh, pick up Death Beyond Death. And now the, now the uh, bank isn't clear either. So I just, I gave myself a very dangerous situation just now. But this next hand should be pretty good. Not the next one, this next one left. Three, four, five. Oh, refresh. I need more Spidey. That one uh, miss, not miss, it wasn't a misplay, that one... Um, Lack of attention, a bit of lack of attention could cost me the game. We'll see. I hope not. This might be a rest and uh, and uh, get more votes turn. But uh, okay, hey, it's is that the one I shuffled in? Who knows? But the radiation scientist goes to the mandroid. Okay, good because what I need to do is I can't I can't fight the mandroid. Unfortunately, I need to uh, run Spidey for president. So he's going to the stack that is um 10 more 10 million more votes for uh for spidey um i'm i'm not fighting this turn so i will uh right it says send uh one undercover to secret service yep i'm sending this gray hero undercover uh as secret service 
and uh, resting three wounds away. Uh, well, first, I do get to play Cyber Spectre to draw a card. Just in case I have another wound. I don't think I do, but I'll play it. And I'll draw. Uh, I'll get one more recruit and I'll draw a card. And it's an agent. Oh, I should have done that first. I would be able to send that, but it's fine. Um, then I'm going to heal and KO all three of these wounds. And move on. This. Wow. Want to see something cool, you guys? This is my entire deck on the right hand side. That's it. That's all I got. That means I have two, four, five, six, seven recruit next turn. I can replace it with some really powerful cards. Like uh, Gamma Detonation. We'll see what I end up doing. But that's it. That's my whole deck. Really thin decks over here. And this is a fun hand though. Turn 27 is Wackoid, who I haven't seen yet this game. So let's go. Wackoid's got uh, plus one attack because of Cybermod Instinct. And boy, is there a lot of Cybermod Instinct. Let me give him that. But he also... Um... By the way, this Mandroid, I'll adjust his attack in a second. Use it five. He doesn't get Cybermod Covert, Covert, Covert. Ambush with the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. Okay, that trooper can take out the Sinister Six, I believe. <laughs> I need the Doombot card to remove more cards. I do. They would be. Um, all right, top card of the hero deck in the escape pile. Watch it be another rare. It is another rare. Are you kidding me right now? Seriously. I couldn't plan for that if I wanted to. I gotta take a, I gotta take a second to process what just happened. Something is very wrong with the vibes around here. <laughs> oh, deep breath, positive thoughts. All right, that was a tech. So let me go ahead and put a tech symbol there. And we will not speak of this anymore. I like that rare too. Okay, uh, Rockoid captures all bystanders from other villas in the city. If he captures any bystanders this way, each player gains a wound. So yeah, he's going to get the news reporter. He's going to get the radiation scientist. And uh, each player gains a wound. He did a lot of damage coming in here. Are you kidding me? So wounds go out. Here. Two. Two standard wounds go out. I got to get my revenge this turn. How am I going to fight Doc Ock? <laughs> like this. This is not a way I can fight him. Uh, so I guess the mandroids are four and five. Let me just confirm real quick. Yep. One, two, three. Four on the left. I'm out of dice. I'm running out of little dice. I'll use these dice. Five on the right. Four on the left. These aren't spin downs. What am I going to do? Uh, let's start with... Detect Vibrations. Ravage. Four attack. Top two cards of the villain deck are one, two, a Mandroid and a Cyber Nostra. Am I fighting any Urus? They're both villains, so I don't want to fight Heimdall. I guess I could. I don't care about the shuffle, so um, I'll put the Mandroid on top. And this goes to the bottom of my deck. Let's go with uh, Doom Blast. Give me five, six plus one for the one range mod that I've got. Then we've got uh, Rage Incarnate, which because I have four wounds under cover, this gives me four total attack. I'm at 11. Oh, cool. I can hit the Mastermind. Better late than never, right? Um, I got another wound to send under cover. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, to recruit, I'll send this wound from my discard pile uh, under cover. There's six tactics, too. Ah. <sighs> That, yeah, but um, who knows what else could happen. Plus, I'm trying to KO Mandroids with uh, Ghost Rider, so we'll see. All right, I did the thing. Now there's five wounds under cover. And we will play uh, Toxic Mutations. And uh, up to 13, 15, and Faded Future. 
and a 16th. I keep playing these Faded Future cards when I don't have a discard pile. So yeah, um, I gotta I gotta end this, and there's six tactics, so um, I should hit the Mastermind for the full, the full 12. The, the the fight effect's gonna go to waste, unfortunately, but let, let's let's uh, let's hit him anyway. I'll have four left. There, uh, yeah, fight. You may gain a hero from the HQ whose cost is at least eight. Not even not even close. Not even close. So let's blow up Doc Ock and adapt. So let's shuffle this up and see who's next. We got a tactic, you guys. The next tactic is going to be one more shuffle. It is Vulture, who we just saw for a second. He came back anyway. All right, he gets plus attack equal to the highest VP value of a villain in any es in the escape pod, rooftops, or bridge. So he gets plus uh, two right now. He's at nine, which is pretty easy. <laughs> Thanks, Astigmatic. He's at nine attack. Ding. Strike. If there's any villains in the root rooftops or bridge, one of them escapes and each player gains would adapt. Fight. You may move a villain to another city space if another villain is already there. Swamp them and adapt. I have four attack left. Uh, let's clear the bank. Just confirming the number of mandroids I've got. I think it's still two. Yeah, it's still two. So uh, let's clear it. Because I know more villains are coming in to push things around. So I guess I don't have to clear the bank. I can clear the, the bridge, but I'll leave the bridge as is. Yeah, let's just take him out right now and kill one of my heroes. Uh, the shield trooper gets KO'd. And uh, the mandarin goes explode. And two recruit gets me a sidekick. And that sidekick is... Yeah, I'm not over that either, Captain Retorica. That's so cool. All right, skids. Hey, avoiding wounds, giving me a recruit. She's very welcome here. It kind of would be weird if they didn't, right? Vulture is brewed with this scheme because you have to clear the bridge streets, rooftop, and bank of villains. Yeah, gross. Okay, uh, we are up to... One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven cards. Why do I have seven cards? Did we draw one or did I just make a mistake? I gained a wound. I only had six cards for a second. I think I just made an error. Yeah, um, this wound was just gained, so it should be this, and the wound should be my discard. Oh, because I didn't have a discard pile. I put it in the wrong spot, I think, so. I thought it was my discard pile. I, yeah, this was sitting there. I thought it was my discard pile, but it wasn't. It was just my hand with no deck, so the wound is in my discard pile. <laughs> it's weird not to have a deck or a discard pile right now. Um, oh, I do have one right now. Turn 28 is that Mandroid we revealed earlier, and then we have the uh, Cyber Nuster coming in. So yeah, on the right-hand side, they are 5 attack. And on the left-hand side, they are 4. Well, what can I do? Um, not much. Although I do get both Cyber Mod benefits, so I get to draw the wound. Maybe I should recruit first, and then maybe I get a chance to draw the card I recruited. We'll see if I can recruit first. Uh, two recruit. No activation. A third recruit. Or a five and five total recruit. I can get seven. Um, I can start KOing a bunch of mandroids if I take this. And I can whoops, not that. This. And I can draw it right now. I can recruit it. Possibly draw it right away. And uh, start getting rid of mandroids and doing more KOing. <laughs> you know what? That sounds fun. I'm going to go ahead and take Death Beyond Death over here on the right-hand side. And there's more Doom. Now we'll play Cyber Spectre, which is going to give me two recruit, plus one recruit for the first Cyber Mod, and a card drop with the seconds. So let's see. Is it Wound or Hero? Anybody's guess? I keep doing this with two cards till I forget which one is which. And three, two, one. It's the wound. Of course it is. Of course it is. I draw the wound. 
and one attack I won't play. Um, I can take this Doctor Doom, but I want that on the left-hand side. So um, also I want Raging Card on the left-hand side. So I'll, I will just this once avoid getting anything from the HQ and get a sidekick. And it's a Zabu sidekick for more KOing of this extremely thin deck already. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Where's Miguel? He needs to show up to his events. Could have a, 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 a string of twists, and I'm a little worried about that. But we know the next one is going to be the Cyber Nostro. So they come in, and they're going to throw a hero in the escape pile. Could be a tech one. It's probably a fourth rare, knowing my luck with this game. Let's see who it actually is. Top card of the hero deck is not a rare, but it is a tech. So one more tech goes up there. I'm pretty sure I have one more tech icon. Somewhere in this pile. Some of them are face down. Nope, that's not tech. That's not tech. There it is. Hello. One more. So they get plus two because there's two of those in the uh, pile. So they are at a five. I cannot recommend little tiny spin down dice enough. They're very useful here. Um, and fight, I do get the KO. All right, let's see. Um, I think I want to start with push pain. Do I have any wounds in my discard pile this time? I don't. So do I want to send a hero undercover or do I want to, to attack in Faded Future? Let's say I do the Faded Future. That'll give me four total attack, five, six, seven, eight. Can't hit Vulture. He cares about the rooftops and bridge. So that's three VP. So he's going to be at, uh, he's actually at uh, 10 attack right now. Until I uh, get rid of Wackoid. If I send a hero undercover, that'll give me a total of one, two, three, four, five, six attack. And I can clear something. So let's thin this deck a little more. We will play this second. We're going to actually start with Toxic Mutations to trigger it. Uh, two attack, not sending it to the bottom of my deck. We'll play uh, push uh, push pin under the surface after that, um, and I will instead send a hero from my discard pile under cover. Nope. My hand actually, uh, this shield agent that's sitting right here. Uh, you are going under cover. Goodbye. Followed by um, three attack from Doom Blast, one attack from the trooper and a two recruit from the computer scientist. So um, I'm gonna fight Wackoid because the streets and bank are just full up and I don't know, I'm afraid about. If I did fight Heimdall, I might be able to tuck a villain or tuck a uh, twister strike again. But then that's gonna, if I reveal a villain, it'll shuffle the deck again. I don't know what it looks like right now, so. You know what, I'm gonna fight Heimdall just in the off chance I tuck a twist. Oh, the bridge will be empty, so nothing will go in anyway. Now let's try to fight Heimdall. So I'm, I'm committing three um, on the streets. Committing all six. He, he has a three attack. Top card of the villain deck is... Yes! It's a twist. I was hoping for that. So it goes... It gets tucked. All right. Good call on that. So, yes. Fight or fail. It's not empty. Nothing else happens. So he's just gone. Very thankful to tuck a twist again. But the villain deck, as, is, as I lifted it up to tuck that twist, is getting very thin. I have three attack left. Uh, I can't use it on anything. I have four recruit, and I will use it on Silver the Future Doom because, ooh, actually, Rage Incarnate will give me four total attack now. But also, I want to bu buff up Doom Blast, so I don't need to take this. <sighs> he is. He's pushing all his wounds underground. He rips them off his body and just pushes them pushes them under. That's all I can do here. Moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good stuff. Not as good stuff, but just stuff. Turn 30 is Hella 2099 coming in. She's got two Uru Enchanted weapons and she's going to throw henchmen back into the city. Fortunately. Moved everybody down. So let's see what I can do. Starting with Zabu. 
I will KO this wound from my hand with him. And get rid of Zabu. Next up, I'm going to play Cyber Spectre, which is going to give me two recruit, plus a third recruit, plus Cyber Mod is going to give me a card draw, and that card draw is a shield agent. Now, I've got a Death Beyond Death. Actually, I'm going to play my agent, agent, and trooper first. Four, five, and then one attack for the trooper. Now, three attack for Ghost Rider 2099. You may KO a henchman from your victory pile. If you do, you get plus two attack, and you may do that henchman's fight effect. So, I'm going to get two more attack, KO this mandroid, do its fight effect, KO one of your heroes. I may do the fight effect. Yeah, I drew uh, one of these greys for Cybermon. Um, then, uh, do I want to do a KO? I don't want to recruit lock myself, but I do have uh, almost six guaranteed, so I will get rid of a shield agent with that uh, doom bot. Now with six attack, also Vulture is now, oh, he's only plus one. He's only eight, actually. Oh, man, I was so close. Yeah, escape pile, rooftops, or bridge. Anyway, with six attack, I can uh, do a guaranteed hit on a Wackoid because he's very annoying. Um, and get the news report to draw a card. Yeah, I can draw a card with the news report if I fight him. Maybe I can get a six cost that way. So let's do that. Let's spend five attack. We're going to fight Wackoid in the streets. That'll clear up the streets too. Take him out for that five. He's a fun villain. And then uh, the news reporter is rescued. I get to draw a card. So I draw into a chill agent. That's six. That's just enough to get me something else pretty good here. So what should I take? Detect Vibrations is a very good card with this small of a deck. That would guarantee with this deck, three, four, guarantee almost seven attack per turn. But left hand side, well, you know, I, I left hand side has got more Ravage, but I don't have anything to draw it. I have the one card to draw, but it hasn't worked. This would gain wounds. I don't really want this. The Doombots would thin the deck more. I think taking this Ravage on the right actually is the best decision. Because this side is already so thinned. Plus I can keep using Mandroids, they can keep coming back up. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh I'm gonna take this uh, Ravage on the right. It's gonna be funny. Alright. Where is Miguel? <laughs> He's not showing up. Okay, now here's my new deck on the right hand side. Look, one. I think I have to shuffle. I think I have just too many. Two, three, four, five, six. And then one more. So don't worry. I'll get rid of all these cards. All these grays. And I'll have some good stuff left. Okay. Moving over. This hand is decent as well. Turn 31 is Jigsaw 2099. He gets plus one attack for each bystander he has. And he is going to put things into the escape pile as well. Ambush. Put the top card of the hero deck into the escape pile. It is going to be... You can't be serious right now. I know running a campaign is hard. I know you're going to come across a lot of unexpected attacks, sharp turns, a lot of media training you have to do. But nobody trains you for this. All right, I'm still here. I'm okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh man. All right, I was reading a card, right? Anyway, Jigsaw's got fight, K1 of a hero, cyber mod strength. If Jigsaw. Had no bystanders, he re-enters the city and captures a bystander for each strength card in the escape pile. Escapes every mod strength, each player gains a wound. Ooh. Yep, that's four out of five. So I got Doom, Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, and Ravage. So only Hulk 2099's rare is left in the hero deck. So we'll see if it, it's a five for five here. Um, all right. I'm just so, I'm, I'm shaking, not gonna lie. 
Let's start with Detect Vibrations. Four attack. Top two cards of the villain deck. One, two. Hey! If I fight Hella, I tuck both of these. And she costs and she's three to fight. Double strikes on top. Good to know. This gets tucked. Faded future. Next, let's play uh, Death Beyond Death up to seven. Um, I will KO a Mandroid from my victory pile. I will get two more attack. And I will KO one of my heroes. Well, let me play the Chill Agent first before I do all of that. And then I'll just KO the Agent. Okay. Um, I didn't play this wound. I will play uh, Toxic Mutations, which did not activate. So just to attack there. And then a second recruit. Okay, um. I can hit the Mastermind and Hella, right? Well, actually, no. He gets plus attack. The highest value of any villain in the escape pod rooftops over its rooftops is two. Bridge is one. So he's at nine attack, which means I could hit him, but then I can't tuck those strikes. Do I want to tuck the strikes? Or do I want to leave them at the top and buy me some more time to avoid twists? If I tuck two strikes, twists happen faster. What is the Master Strike effect? I, I gotta take out tactics as fast as I can, so... I think leaving the strikes out is the best thing. Some of these are devastating, but I think in general they're all little... Oh no, it's the strike effect. For example, this one is... Ooh, this one's gonna cause things to escape. So I definitely wanna take out Vulture before he does that. Each player gains a wound. I'll leave the strikes on top. Maybe um, I can fight Hella after that and see what happens. Uh, if I do that, though, I will have an escape. No, I won't, because I'll have a strike. So yeah, I'll fight Vulture. Let's hit him for nine before he gets any stronger than he already is. Hold on, hold on. Let me back up for a second. What if I fight Cyber Nostra first for five? Of six left, I still can't fight him. That's true. I can swap villains. So yeah, I'm committing to fighting him for nine. Let's do it. If they're, uh, you may move, move a villain from another city space to another city space, and another villain's already there, swap at them. So, since Vulture's gone, I don't really care. I want to put something easier on the bank, I suppose. Hell is kind of okay there because she, one of her weapons is going to be a strike if I fight it next turn. You know what? I don't think I want to swap anybody. I think I want everybody exactly where they are. That's funny. All right. Well, let me uh, let me take out Vulture. Second tactic down. We're gonna adapt. There's nothing easier. What's easier? Cyber Nostra can get buffed up. Jigsaw's a pain. He'll come back. All right, uh, new mastermind is Goblin. Oh, the presidential candidate himself comes back, but he gets minus one attack for each bias in your victory pile. Let me see how many bias I've got. I've got one, two. I gotta count these. One, two. I have two. So he has nine attack on the left hand side. Let me use these dice because I'm running out of uh, running out of red dice. So he's nine over here. And on the right hand side is gonna be more. I got one, two. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, he's nine on both sides, so I'll just change it to nine. He's nine attack. Four, five, six. There are, but um, I can't show it on screen. There's too much going on. I don't really want to zoom out. Uh, plus it's only for one tactic, but otherwise if it's a constant effect, I would keep that in there for things like Black Widow. Uh, but yeah, nine attacks not terrible. His strike. Each player puts a bias from the victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound adapt. That's gonna happen next though. Oh, I can just gain wounds if I want to. Um, whew, okay, well I got two recruit left. Let's get a sidekick. I feel like two-handed solo games go long, especially when you're narrating them. But I feel like specifically these two 2099 games have gone extra long. 
between the adapting and the cyber modding and the Uru weapons. There's a lot of stuff to do. Thank you for the water. But it's fun. You really feel like you're in it. You're playing a... Uh, oh, you're almost playing a, 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 a deeper strategy game. Okay, I got my two faded future cards. Three, four, five, six. Good things. I can't forget that on the right-hand side, I got some powerful stuff. Turn 32 is going to be that strike that we revealed, so there we go. <laughs> can't avoid that. Uh, each player puts a bias in front of the escape hollow gains a wound. I'm going to have the left side... Uh, well, let's see. I don't want to strengthen Goblin. Plus, I don't have that many cards. So I'll just get a wound right now. It's fine. And I can uh, get rid of it later. There's a wound on the right. And then left is going to easily gain the wound because I got that hope to get rid of it. So, so uh, Grievous on the left. Glad the Grievous punched on the left. Because I'm going to... Oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna have ten attack. I guess I could have been fine if I put one bystander from this side in, because I'll, I'll hit him this turn. Um. Oh, I won't, because he's gonna adapt. So we'll see who I get. Adaption time. Adapt. No, adaptation is the noun. He's adapting. Okay. Next mastermind of the four left, now it looks like a normal game, is Venom again. So Venom gets minus one card. Minus one attack for each card I have the cost two. I have none. He's ten attack. So four, five. I have just enough. Just enough to hit him. So uh, let's let's do so before I run out of time. And we're going to first detect vibrations. Top. Nope. Over here. Come on. There we go. Four attack. Top two cards of the villain deck are that, that strike and a twist. Okay. I would like to tuck this twist. So what I could do, I put, I put the twist on the bottom. I could fight Hela for three. Tuck both of those, which is pretty good. And not fight Venom this turn. That might be a decent thing to do, actually. So I'll leave him in the order I left him. This gets Faded Future. Then we got Death Beyond Death. Seven. I will KO another Mandroid. I'll play the Shield Agent first. Um, then I'll KO a Mandroid, yep. And uh, get two more attack. Yep, that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, KO the shield agent that I uh, have got. Don't want to recruit lock myself. I got a couple recruit cards still. Speaking of which, that's a one, two, three more recruit. I'm at four recruit and one more attack. I'm at ten. Um, I'm going to take Cyber Spectre because it lets me draw a card. and gives me extra recruit. So uh, I'll take this for three. And... A recruit cards that draw are wonderful. So, um, do I hit Venom and get rid of another tactic, or do I hit Hella for three? If I hit Hella for three, because she's not getting any bonuses, I tuck a twist and a strike, I'll have seven left, and I can clear more things. Um, there's enough cards left in the villain deck that I think hitting Hella makes sense right now. Plus, I'll get to 10 on the left-hand side, I think. Yep, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. Yeah, left hand's going to hit Venom. So, uh, we will commit to fighting Hela. Top two cards are the same as before. It is a twist and a strike, so they get tucked to the bottom in random order. And she doesn't get any bonus attack. The deck is getting thin, though. I just got to not worry about it for as long as I can. Um, so, she is gone, and a henchman villain is going to enter the city. So, uh, now to 7... I will put a Mandroid in from... Who's got more Mandroids? Left or right? Left side has... I gotta reevaluate because I've KO'd a couple. And readjust their attack values. So right side has one Mandroid. I think just one at this point. Yeah, just one on the right hand side. And left side has two. So I'll put one in from the left hand side. 
which means that each side only has one mandroid, so there are three all around right now. Three attack. Which makes things easy. The third one as well is three attack. So for seven, I can hit two of them. Clear some spots. Although if I want to hit the bank, I don't have to worry about it. I've cleared, uh, I've tucked a couple of twists. Jigsaw is going to come back in. Oh, he won't get any bystanders. Hey, you know what's funny? Uh, there are no strength cards in the escape pile. So... I could infinitely KO farm him <laughs> if I wanted to until there's any strength in the escape pile. That's really funny. But uh, let's just thin this thin deck even more. Um, let's get rid of two mandroids. One for three, the next one for four. For a total of seven. We'll hit the one in the streets. And we'll hit the one... In the bridge, so if a villain comes in, it'll push the rest elsewhere. And we'll take them both out. That's two KOs, so get rid of more Graves. And uh, now, look at my deck. Once I reshuffle here. Okay, so... Um, Jigsaw says, fight KO one of your heroes. Cybermon... Oh, sorry. The Cybermon never activates. I missed that first part. So that would it wouldn't do anything. He'd just be gone. And ignore what I said. It's there, so you can't infinite farm. He would get at least one bystander if the cyber mod would have activated. Three, four, five, six. Um. Look at this. Here's my entire deck. My entire hand. Nope, my entire deck, which is also my hand. That's seven guaranteed attack. Possibly nine if I can more things. Maybe I'll draw some more cards. Yeah, I, I there is a loud incorrect alarm if you want to pay a bunch of points. And if I did get something wrong, I give you your points back. Turn 33 is that other bystander. The animal trainer goes to the mandroid. All right, let's hit Venom this turn. Let's see who's at the top of the villain deck right now. It's going to be four attack plus top two cards of that deck are, okay, uh, Wackward and Loki. Um, okay. Do I care the order? Loki is going to throw a strike back in. Um, no Uru weapons to tuck him. Wacko is going to cause something to escape. He's going to steal bystanders, get wounds. I'll, I'll put Wacko right on top. Loki, this Loki terrifies me. There could be a fun infinite respawn if you use Storms on Common to move him first. That is true. That is true. There is a way around it. Alright, starting with uh, Push Pan under the surface. Sending more wounds undercover. You may send a wound from your hand to discard for undercover. There is a wound there, the grievous one. Going undercover. That's six wounds undercover right now. Maybe it's seven. Maybe I forgot to count. Over four, it doesn't matter. As far as I can tell. One, two, three, four, five. Is it five or six? Again, doesn't matter. Unless the rare does something, but I haven't seen it, and I might not see it. All right, see it go right to the escape pile, as has been the pattern. We will play Toxic Mutations, two more attack. Activates two more attack and Faded Future. At the bottom of the deck you go. Rage Incarnate is going to activate off of uh, Cyber Mod 4 Wound. So two attack base, two attack for the effect up to 12. We're going to go Death Beyond Death. We'll play our Shield Agent first, then play Death Beyond Death. Up to 15 attack. I will KO this Mandroid from my Victory Pile. I get two more attack up to 17. That's a, lot, that's a high number. And I can do the Henchman's Fight Effect, which is KO one of your heroes. Get another Shield Agent. All right. So for my uh, 10 of my 17 attack, I don't have any cards that cost two. So we're just going to hit Venom for, uh, for 10. Uh, yep. So down to seven. You may gain a hero that costs two from the HQ or KO pile. Are there any heroes that cost two in the KO pile? I don't think so. Um, there aren't any here. And then Adapt. So Venom is taken out. We've taken out the normal amount of Mastermind tactics. Uh, almost the normal amount of Mastermind tactics. There's still three left. So who's left? We got Sandwoman, Electro, and Goblin. 
So the candidate himself is still there. Are we against him or one of his uh, potential cabinet? It's going to be... Electro! Is there a Secretary of Energy? Because that's him. Alright, uh, his strike is each player discards three cards and draws a card. Adapt. Fight, you may discard a number of cards, then draw that many cards. Adapt. But he's only nine attack. He doesn't change, doesn't get changed or modified. I was almost able to fight him this turn too. Um, but uh, I think we just clear the bank and take out Jigsaw. Uh, also, I KO'd a Mandroid, so that means on the left. Left side has no Mandroids left. So it's only two on the left hand side now. Yeah, but I have to, if I do fight him, I have to, yeah, if I have to fight him, I have to KO one of these three cards I've got, and I don't want to get rid of those, so I don't think I'm going to fight Jigsaw. Um, this one is the same, however, I'm pretty sure because it's a Cyber Mod here, it is optional on Cyber Nostra. I think uh, the you may is plugged in to that effect, but I'll double check on enemies. Um... Maybe not. I have to see how this is interpreted. So look at this. Um, if a villain says fights over my tech, K1 of heroes, use that ability only if there is a tech card in the escape pile. It doesn't look like there is a choice on enemies. Um, on heroes, it's you may use an ability. So correct me if you think I'm wrong, but on enemies, it looks like it's mandatory. This is a fight effect. So I don't want to fight either of those. All three say KO one of your heroes, so I can't fight anybody in the city because all three of them are going to KO one of my good cards here. Wow, too much KO. So I guess I'm leaving everybody where they are for seven attack, throwing it away. I will take Rage Incarnate because it does give me four attack, so this is my pickup this turn. And the Doom Blast is here again. Okay, gotta remember Skids is here in case more wounds are gained by anybody. Probably the right hand side is the one I would avoid those on. Turn 34 is Wackoid, who we looked at earlier. He's coming into the sewers and uh, he gets his plus one, so he's at five attack. And we all know what this is, right? Oh no, it's not. It's not Rare Hulk. It's Cyber Spectre. Cyber Spectre Ghost Rider. I was pretty confident there for a second. Alright, I'm out of tokens, so I'm going to do this. And, uh... Count my three techs with this. Three tech. Three tech. There we go. Rotate, rotate. Perfect. And he's going to steal the bias from the Animal Trainer. Each player gains a wound. But I got skids out, so check this out. Come on, come on, come on. Animal Trainer. Here, each player gains a wound. I'm going to use skids, reveal skids to avoid the wound on the this right-hand side. Um, skids is getting a start on the left to avoid the wound. Left side is getting drawn, uh, getting two cards drawn, two very good cards drawn. Um, and then left-hand side is gonna uh, gain the wound that it got. <laughs> Okay, it's two over here. <laughs> Very true. All right, uh, let's uh, let's do a combo. This will be fun. Detect vibrations. Two goes to the bottom of the deck. Uh, fade a few. Oh, let's do the the actual part here too. Top of cards the villain deck. Any order? We're putting Mandroid on top of Loki there. Then um, bottom of the deck, we play Cyber Spectre. This is the combo. I get one recruit, and I draw a card, which is going to be that same Detect Vibrations. There it is. I have to do this a couple times. Check this out. Play it again. Detect Vibrations. Four more attack. Eight. I don't have to deal with the villain deck. This goes to the bottom of my deck. Only card in my deck. Um, Cyber Spectre. Two more recruit. One more for the mod, and the second mod gives me a card draw. Guess what it is? Detect Vibrations again. I play Detect Vibrations again. Um, and it goes to the bottom again. Too bad I can't activate down on the dragons. I can do it a fourth time. But death beyond death. 15. Attack. 
And I will KO this last Mandroid I have. Um, not KOing any of my heroes this time. Actually, I don't really need down on the dregs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to KO down on the dregs because I don't really need it for this. And I get two more attack at 17. Cool. 17 attack. Let's hit Electro for 9. And guess what I get to do? You may discard a number of cards, then draw that many cards. I will discard this wound. And draw Detect Vibrations again. <laughs> Alright. I have 8 left. We take out Electro. That's four times. That's pretty cool. And adapt. I can probably hit whoever this is. And it's going to be the candidate himself once again. The goblin. Minus one for each bias scanner in my victory pile. Can I win the game after this? I think I only have two left. I got one, two. Yeah, two, two bias standards here total. So he's at nine attack. So uh, real quick, I'll put this on him. And uh, there we go. Nine. And I'll play the Detect Vibrations that uh, Electro helped me draw. Up to 12. Goes to the bottom. Are there any effects that'll let me draw cards out here? No, that's KO, KO, KO. Um, the fight effect on the Mastermind is each villain captures a bystander. But uh, I will still take out the, ta the, uh, the tactic. So I got three left after that. Each villain in the city captures a bystander. A little annoying logistically, but I'll do it anyway. So paramedic here. Jigsaw gets the dog show judge. Mandroid gets the radiation scientist. And Wackoid gets a standard. It did actually work out pretty well. And uh, then we're going to take out the goblin. So long. Another tactic. And don't do adapt because Sandwoman299 is left. Is she now running in his place? I suppose. She still has uh, 50 million votes because I guess she gets the votes. <laughs> and she gets plus two attack for each villain in the city. So she's going to be buffed up. 6, 8, uh, 10, 12, 14. S strongest mastermind so far? Where's my D20? So now i got to clear the city, but I'll start right now uh, by fighting a man. If I fight this mandroid, though, I have to KO heroes. So I don't, I can't KO any of these. These are essential to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but I will recruit something, right? As an opposition candidate who inherited the votes. Um, I only have five cards, so I can take something. Um... I don't want to take Hulk because I have to discard cards for it. So I'll just pick up the Doombots for f for six. Because that's three attack. Even though I'm not really sending anything under cover. <laughs> yes, very nice Snatch Cat. Miguel's just gone, I guess. Okay, um... And I won't fight anything. This is a difficult decision, but I don't want to KO any of these. So... Okay, new deck. Here's my entire deck. Two, three, four, five, six. It's pretty good. I just need 14 attack. Uh, actually, actually, I need uh, 16 attack now. This Mandroid comes in. Who is uh, actually? There are two all around. They're back. To, they're back to their base attack, both of them, because uh, all the Mandroids are KO'd. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to making an error here, so let me just triple check on that. Yep. Um, nothing there. This is my undercover pile. And, yep, none over there. Right-hand side. A lot of really cool art from 2099. No mandroids. And no mandroids here. Yep, they're all in the KO pile now. <sighs> Unfortunately, she gets plus 10 attacks. She's at 16. Can I, can I get 16 attack this turn? Maybe I can. I got phasing, finally. Doesn't really work with Faded Future. But I have a wound. I've wounded my discard pile, so let's um let's do that. Let's push pain. 
We will send this wound undercover. Just so now I have seven wounds undercover. The seventh. Okay. Um, I have a wound in my hand too, as well. Two as well. That was redundant. Ignore that I said that. So four total attack and faded future. What a mess. Same thing. Four total attack and faded future. I've got Doom Blast right now. Unfortunately, I'll still only have two Cyber Mods. Will give me 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'll be short the attack. So, what if I clear the city first? The Mandrids are going to break even. Well, not, not if I get them both over here. I want to keep out heroes I can KO. And unfortunately, that kind of includes Lockjaw. But let me actually phase him to see what I get. So, uh... Yeah, let's phase Lockjaw. And I get... Doom 99. Ooh, I can actually activate Doom Blast. Check it out. You may send this in a card from your hand or discard pile under cover if you do get plus one recruit. So I will do that. I will send it under cover for an extra recruit. And... I want to keep Maria out here. So I'm actually going to send skids undercover, believe it or not. So that's going to give me my third ranged and a single covert undercover. Which means now when I play Doom Blast, I get five attack. Last minute upgrade. That gives me a total of 13 on this die and 14 with the trooper. So not enough to hit the mastermind, but I have things to, I have something to KO. Oh, did it say card? If it said card and I wasn't paying attention, then yes, I would send the wound instead of skins. It did say card. I'm so used to just sending heroes undercover. Let's do a quick swap. So she goes back to this card pile. We will send the wound undercover. And now I got eight wounds undercover. Good catch. And I get rid of this covert. Uh, all right, so with 14 attack, can't hit the Mastermind, but I can clear some things out and weaken her for the next uh, next turn. Dog Show Judge draws some cards. So I think we should fight Jigsaw, because he'll just go away. Well, everything's all, all pushed over. What a mess. Okay. This is the KO. So let's fight Jigsaw for six. It's, he's at seven, actually, because of the bystanders. I have seven left after this. Um, okay, one of your heroes. Shield Trooper's gone. Uh, no Cyber Mod Strength. Yeah, so nothing happens anyway, even if it did. Uh, so he's just gone. On the left. Dog Show Judge. Each player builds the top card of their deck. Right side has no... Okay, this is interesting. The right side has no deck. So I'm pretty sure I have to draw the card. Best in show. Lockjaw's best in show. He is the best boy. That makes me very happy. Okay. Have you guys ever had Lockjaw be best in show? That was amazing. That made up for all the uh, the rares being put in the escape pile. <laughs> that made me very happy. Um, all right, I got seven attack left. Two if I want to play Lockjaw. What's the best path to clearing things? I don't want to KO him now. He's the best boy. So I guess I'll phase him and see what else I get. Maybe something else I can KO. Uh, let's see. Pretty good. Oh, computer scientist. Yeah, he can go. He can go. I'll play the scientist for two recruit. Hey, enough to recruit a rare. <laughs> so um, let's... It is a year. Let's fight Wackoid. Who's just going to be five attack. And, yep, let's fight him. He has no fight effect, so just a couple bystanders we can rescue. And, uh... Cheapens things. I'm gonna put this here. Rescue this other bystander. And I can clear another uh, enemy. Let's fight the radiation scientist. Oh, let's fight the mandrin and rescue the radiation scientist. Um, for two, we will end up KOing the computer scientist. And rescuing a different scientist. Now this manager is going to be three on the left-hand side. 
Um, you may KO whatever hero or hero from your discard pile. And I just won't KO anybody this time. So now, uh, Sandoman is at 6, 8, 10 at the moment. She's probably going to go up to more. But for now, a little more manageable. Uh, 7 Recruit. I'll put him here for a second. Doom Blast is very good right now. So I'm going to take Doom Blast for... Yeah, Instinct and Covert get a little bit of a discount. This costs 2. I might not need to last that long here. So I'm going to take 3. Cost for 3. Yeah, those are done by GW Gumby. You can find him in the Discord if you want to get the uh, the, the uh, 3D printer file or some tokens of your own. And I will also take Rage Incarnate for two. It's a discount. There he is. I'll wait to take him on the other side. Because he won't come around. And then, uh, uh, oh, I just recruited a new sidekick and it's Lockjaw again. I got double Lockjaw, which sounds bad. And it probably is, unless you're talking about a teleporting dog from the comics. Alright, this is going to be over very soon. Maybe now. Probably now. Turn 36. Loki. He shuffles a Master Strike from the KO Pop back into the villain deck. On his ambush. Perfect timing. <laughs> Infinite phasing loops. I've gotten the infinite phasing before, and all it does is just make everybody at the other at the table really impatient with you because you're not doing anything. Uh, okay, let's end this game. But he, uh, she goes to twelve, but that's no problem at all. Combo time. Detect vibrations. Four attack. Let's peek at the top two cards of the villain deck and double twist. Ooh, I can fight Loki and tuck them both if I really wanted to. Um, and nothing would happen. We'll see if I get the extra VP that way. Uh, all right. Four to the bottom. Let's, uh, Cyber Spectre. Two recruit, three total recruit, and I draw. Ravage back. Up to eight attack. Put him to the bottom. That's insane off the cuff. Jeez. Everything's fine on this planet. No problems. Uh, draw another card. And then uh, Detect Vibrations up to 12 attack. That's going to be enough to win. Put it on the bottom. But I have more. 15. I have no more Mandroids to KO. So I guess I, I guess I could. You know, hold on. It would offset. It would offset. But then I have to KO a hero. It's fine. I'll play, I'll play Doom first. If I do this, I will end up sending Ravage undercover. <laughs> so I, um, oh, it's a, it's a superpower. I don't have to do it. I choose not to use a superpower. That was a change in what if, so I don't do it. I just play Doom with no activation up to 15 attack. I'll do the same here. Actually, no, um, yes. I will play Death Beyond Death without activating it up to 18. So let me go ahead and fight uh, fight Loki first for three. I know it's going to be three. Down to 15. I reveal those two twists at the top here. And uh, they get tucked. And uh, nothing gets played, so he just gets blown up. It is uh, uh, as of the what if uh, corset rules. Oh yeah, his text says may anyway. So that doesn't apply there anyway. But regardless. Alright, now she goes down to 10. This is actually a fun way to do this. So if I take out the Mandroid. Yeah. Can I clear the whole city? If I fight the Hibernostra, I go down to 10. She goes down to 8. I fight the Mandroid, I go down to 6. And she goes down to 6. I can clear the whole city. Um, let's fight the Mandroid first. Paying two. Thirteen. I could have done Death Beyond Death later. But uh, fight KO one of your heroes. She goes down to eight, and I will KO... Um, I KO Doom. He knows what he did. Okay. I have just enough to do this. Um, 
I'm down to eight after fighting Cyber Nostra. Plus one for each tech card in the escape pile. Oh no, wait, these guys are six. So I can't. Never mind, it's not a big deal. I'll just hit the mastermind. All right. Next player recruiter attacking this next turn, but not both. Joke's on you, there is no next turn. That is the last of the Sinister Six tactics. Oh, and after four rares being put in the uh, escape pile, we, we won this thing still, so. Jeez, that game did not let up. What is the uptime on this stream? Oh, well, almost three hours. That was wild. Two of the most insane games I've ever played in Legendary from the same expansion. From two different masterminds and schemes. That was nuts. Where's Hulk's rare? That's what I want to know. I want to play it out as if... As if I kept recruiting. Let's see, the next card would have been... A strike and a twist and a strike and a twist and a twist and a mandroid and a twist. And yeah, this was the end of the game anyway. <laughs> Alright, where was Hulk's rare? Oh, it was the next card! So literally, it could have easily been put on top, uh, uh, put put there by something else, but it was the next one up, so. Oh my gosh. Whew. Real quick, before I reveal the predictions, does anybody really care to know what my VP is? I'm one player. I can't win over myself. And I don't know if anybody cares. Happy to count it if you do, but I don't think anybody cares. We're just glad that I won this one. That was wild. Okay, what time is it? What time is it? Do I have time to play another game? Nah, save my time. I don't think anybody cares. Uh, let me go ahead and resolve the predictions, though. It was a win. You can go back and count up yourself if you want, I suppose. It was a win. So there you go. I'll just show you my victory piles, and it'll be on screen, so you can all just look it up yourself. Left side. It's a lot, actually, because of all the uh, the wounds. Left side's victory pile. Right side's victory pile. If anybody wants to do the math on their own. The victory pile. On the left. This is a lot. And victory pile on the right. Freeze frame. Okay, so that's it. A lot of cards. I need one of those, like, ticket counters. Alright. There you go, folks. We did it. In only a few hours. I have a question for you. Well, actually, let me end this part of the video for those who are watching on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Um, go get 2099. It's a lot of fun. Check out my overview and the other game I played if you didn't already. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, anybody still left? Um, throw your favorite emote, emote in chat if you'd like to see one more game with one of the schemes I didn't use yet. I got a little bit of time and energy. I could do one more, maybe. But not with the Sinister Six, because that takes so long. It's going to be with the other masterminds. And it's going to be a little bit of time to reset. But I'll do it. We got two schemes left. We got... Uh, Pull reality into cyberspace or subjugate Earth with mega corporations. And then we can decide together which one I'm going to use. I th you know what? I think I have one more game in me. So if a few people say they want to see one more, I'll do one more. But, oh, this is such a good set. Um, like I said, it feels very technical. At first, it feels bad to send all your heroes undercover. But... Boy, it pays off, because these these cards cost low, and they give you a lot of value. Like these Hulk cards, these Ravage cards, and the Doom cards. You have a few cards, and they do really, really well. So for those who like thin decks in your games, this is a set for you. Okay, got a couple of folks here. All right. I think that's it. I think we'll end the stream here, but that's fine. Um, I get to go clean all these cards up anyway. And we'll see these two schemes back when the randomizer streams return. Tomorrow is Saturday. I will be revealing...
the next Legendary Legacy Arcade featured format. If you don't know what Legendary Legacy Arcade is, I've got a video up on it. Go to the Discord, to the Arcade channel, check the pinned post. It is a really fun way to play through your Legendary Collection, featuring a bunch of random battles that increasingly get more difficult. Um, you get to unlock heroes and carry them uh, through your games as you go. The featured format reduces the entire list of mastermind schemes, villains, henchmen, and heroes to a certain number of ones under a certain theme. <laughs> so this is going to be a really good one. I will talk about it tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. You have until tomorrow to finish the current arcade mode. So good luck if you're trying to do that. Um, no, I'm going to stop now. It looks like people... We all, we all got to go. We got things to do. It's Friday night. But... Uh, You'll see these schemes played uh, another time. And uh, real quick, before you go, before you go, um, I want to support some other board game channels out there. So let's see if anybody is doing some board game streams. It's kind of, it's hard. I know how hard it is to set this stuff up. So even if you don't stick around and watch their stream, just go in and say hello. Um, I'm looking to see who's playing right now. Um, who's playing some tabletop? Not a lot of people are actually playing right now. So... I'm going to check this channel out and see if they're actually playing something. It's going to show me an ad. Hmm. Looks like nobody's really playing some tabletop uh, top-down board games. So uh, we'll just end the stream here. Uh, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care all. Thank you so much for coming. It means the world to me.